Traveling from Hunter, Author, Battle Ring, Chapter 151. The three people upgraded by grace. The battle site was moved, and the four of Kilua were sitting on a messy and dusty ground without any image at this time. Kilua, those two were your father and grandfather just now. Is the Zoldik family also paying attention to what's going on here? Kate asked Kilua panting with her back against the big tree. Kate is very sure that she and others have been fighting just now, and there is no chance to contact other people. But now, Kilua's father and grandfather appeared here. The only reason is that the Zoldik family has noticed this place long ago and participated in this chimera rant incident for unknown reasons. Yeah, I don't know about this, but with the character of dad and grandpa, it is impossible to participate in this kind of thing. There are two possibilities for them to appear here. 1. Someone hired them here to deal with that monster. Secondly, my brother Fisher Zoldyk is paying attention to the 627 incident here. As the current head of the Zoldyk family, my brother has the ability to mobilize grandpa and dad here. I guess there's a second reason dad and grandpa are here. I'm right. Karapika. Kilia also panted while explaining, and finally shifted his gaze to Karapika, whose hands were resting on his knees. Seeing this, both Kate and Ken also looked over. Ah, Kilia was right. Fisher has long noticed what's going on here. I also know that the monster appeared just now, that's why I let me follow the speed. You will die here because Fisher is afraid of Kilia. Karapika explained with a smile, and there was no intention of hiding it. Immediately, Karapika continued to speak without waiting for a few people to react. Yesterday Fisher called members of the faction to gather outside the NGL border. It must be Fisher's arrangement that Master Gino and Silver will appear here this time. Knowing the existence of this monster, I even asked my younger brother to come here. Kilua, your brother's heart is really big enough. After listening to Karapika's narration, Kate looked at Kilua with a strange expression and said, Ahaha, my brother said that he doesn't want to interfere in my life, unless his life is in danger. This time is a life-threatening time for me. So my brother asked Kripika to follow. Kilua rubbed his forehead and smiled awkwardly. That's right, your brother is really kind to you. Kate heard this and nodded with a smile, agreeing with Fisher's treatment of Kilua. Don't intervene in a person's life at will, let it develop on its own, and lend a helping hand when its life is in danger, and let it survive the catastrophe. Right, my brother is the best brother, he he. Kilua nodded again and again, very proud. Besides, I also guessed why my brother let me come here even though he knew that his life was in danger. Kripika. You should also know. Kilua grinned, looked at Kripika and Gun and said, Ah, I know, this monster is a rare opportunity. Kripika smiled gently. Hee hee, I'm going to update now, I feel that I can definitely upgrade to 4 4 now. Gun grinned, showing a mouthful of white teeth, smiling brightly, and then directly ripped off his vest, directly updated the favor behind it. And Kilua also smiled and made the same action as Gun. Kripika did not speak but also made the same movement. All three of them knew that their favor would definitely be greatly improved in this battle with Neferpatu. The words of the three made Kate, who didn't know what kindness was, looked confused, and looked at the three of them circling around her back in a daze. Ah, uh, do these geese still carry parchment? At this time, Kate also saw that the three of them took out a piece of parchment from their pockets and covered their backs, which made Kate even more confused. Kate, who was completely confused, could only just watch in a daze, not knowing what to say, resting quietly recovering her physical strength and thoughts. Soon, Gun renewed on high and let out a cry of excitement. Very good, upgraded. Kilua, I've upgraded to if.4. Gun excitedly said to Kilua. Me too. Kilua also looked at the parchment in his hand, smiling all over his face. The strength of the two is very low, and the starting point is also low, so it is easy to upgrade, and there is no need to be like Grandpa Gino. Me too, upgraded. At this time, Kurapika also spoke, looking at the parchment in his hand, and said with a smile, Brother. This favor is really strong. As soon as I level up, I feel that my strength has improved a lot. Kilua closed his eyes, felt the changes in his body, and then sighed deeply. Ah, I feel that my energy has increased a lot. Gun also closed his eyes and said excitedly, Okay, now I finally have time to contact Fisher, and I don't know what Fisher's plan is. At this time, Kurapika took out the Bluetooth headset, began to inject thoughts, entered the contact channel and contacted Fisher. <clears throat> Kurapika, hurry up and ask my brother. What is his plan here? Kilua agreed after hearing this. Karapika nodded slightly, and then began to communicate. Hey, it's very convenient to contact you. Kate heard this and exclaimed. Soon, Karapika got in touch with Fisher, but as time passed, Karapika's face became weird. How's it going, Karapika? What's the honest plan? Kiji asked. And Jiel seems to be used by Fisher as a training ground. Karapika replied with a strange expression. Also, Kilua, Gun, Fisher sent the two of you to the borderline outside the NGL. A training ground? What do you mean? Kilua and Gun were puzzled. You will know when you go back. Karapika nodded and said. So, what about you, Karapika? Don't you need to go back? Gun asked. No, Fisher asked me to stay here. Karapika shook her head and denied. Yeah, 
I got it, Gun heard it, stopped asking and stood up, Gun, let's go. Killia also stood up and greeted Gun. 0.2 Kate, let's go back first. Gun nodded and said goodbye to Kate. Okay, although I don't know what's going on, but the appearance of monsters of this level is indeed beyond your control. You should go back first. Kate nodded and said, soon, Killia and Gun left towards the border. Karapaka, have you rested yet? The two of us need to be ready and ready to join the fray at any time. This place is very dangerous, there are more monsters, we can't let these monsters affect Kill you and Dad and Grandpa's fight against that monster. Not long after Kill you and Gun left, Kate stood up and faced Karapika said, Ah, I know, I've been waiting for you, now that you've recovered, let's go. Karapika nodded with a smile. Dot. Chapter 152 Distribution It's worthy of being the two heads of the assassination family Zoliak, stronger than the four of us together. Standing on a steep rocky mountain, Kate looked at the distant battlefield and sighed. He teamed up with Karapika, supported by Kill and Gun, and was always suppressed when facing Neferpatu. However, looking at the battlefield ahead, Silver and Gino teamed up to draw with Neferpatu. Like them, everywhere narrowly escaped death. After all, Master Silver and Master Gino are Fisher's further and grandfather, and they are already very powerful. After Fisher became the head of the family, the two gained even more power, so there is nothing wrong with the situation. Karapika said with a smile. What Karapika said is right. Gino and Silver were very strong before they became members of the family without the grace of God. After becoming members of the family and receiving the rewards from the system from Fisher, the strength of Gino and Silver has improved even more visible to the naked eye. Especially Jin Yuo, because he wanted to improve his strength, he also went to fight with Nitero and Maha, and because he had been fighting all the time, in Hui directly rose from point 1 to if.3. Every time in Hui upgrades to a level, the host itself will undergo earth-shaking changes, and while improving its own potential, it will also increase its strength. In particular, the level of Geno has been upgraded from Miv.1, and its improvement can be imagined. The development of Uio Fruit and Phantom Beast's Blue Dragon form Fisher doesn't know, but Geno's Nian Chi cultivation level was tested again by Fisher. 650,320. This is the result of Fisher's test on Jano a week ago. Excluding the improvement of the Vitality Fruit and the improvement of cultivation during this period, Geno's Nian Chi cultivation has increased by more than 100,000 which is the benefit of Jin Yuo's favor, which has been upgraded by two levels. It's really powerful. However, such a powerful N follower came here under the arrangement of others. Karapaka, I'm very curious about the fisher you are talking about now. Kate nodded, and then said with interest. Huh? That's right, Kate. Do you want to join us? Karapaka was a little surprised when he heard this, and then took advantage of the opportunity to send out an invitation. This is Karapaka's identification with Kate. Kate is the most powerful N he has ever seen besides Fisher. When dealing with the brigade leader Krillo before, Krillo showed a strong sense of fighting, and did not show too strong fighting power. In the Sky Arena, he didn't have too much strength to defeat the capable person Shura. Kate, who met here this time, showed much stronger combat power, and was weaker than him, but she could already be called a rare master among N. So he wanted Kate to join Zoldyk as a companion. No, I don't want to join any forces. Faced with Kurapika's invitation, Kate refused without hesitation. That's right. That's really a pity. Hearing this, Kurapika was not too surprised and said regretfully, If Kate joins the Zoldyk family, then the strength will definitely be greatly improved. After all, every companion who joins them and becomes Fisher's direct butler will receive things, props, abilities, etc. that can improve strength from Fisher. Being your companion, I can gain a rapid improvement in strength, right? This is indeed a very attractive benefit, but I also have my own insistence. Also, I have my own companions, Kate said with a light smile. Yes. You have your own companions now. Hearing this, Kurapika also thought of Kate's companions, nodded understandingly, and then stopped mentioning this matter, quietly watching the battlefield, and constantly scanning the surrounding situation. Although I really want to go down and kill those wandering chimera ants, but this place is more important. Kate also looked at the situation in the forest below, regretfully, compared with knowing the chimera ants coming out of the ant nest, the battlefield on Neferpatu's side is much more important, so we must keep an eye on it, and we must not relax in any way. It cannot collapse before a stronger helping hand arrives, otherwise there is a possibility of losing everything. He wasn't sure if there was another level in the ant nest that followed Fabido. If there is, and it appears, then the two of them will act again and stop it. At this time, the NGL borderline. After bringing Michi and others to join Fisher, Menchai, Gailu and Crook entered NGL under Fisher's order. Menchai, Gailu, Crook, and Fisher asked them to go to Karapaka. After all, the three of them will be fighting against the three guards. As for the division commanders, although they can quickly deal with them, but the upgrade to God's Grace doesn't do much. At their level, the only way to make God's Grace soar or even upgrade in a short period of time is to fight against powerful enemies. Fighting life and death with enemies that are much stronger than yourself, 
the harvests will be more abundant, as for Fisher. He is here waiting for the arrival of Nitero, and also waiting for Kilyu and Gun to come out. Here, Fishers gave Machi and others, who are about to enter NGL to deal with division commanders and army captains, a popular science on the situation of Chimera ants here, and gave them information about Chimera ants so that they would not overturn. Brother Fisher, are these Chimera ants a species from the Dark Continent? Kaluto asked suspiciously after Fisher finished his science. Well, they came from the Dark Continent, and we will also enter the Dark Continent next. So let you get in touch with the creature Ro-03 from the Dark Continent first. Fisher nodded and replied, although it was born from the food obtained from the Human Kingdom, it is still the Chimera ant from the Dark Continent in terms of species. How long do we have to wait? Shizaku also spoke, asking cutely. Wait for Kilyu and Gun to come out together, and wait for an old man to protect you by the way. Fisher replied with a smile. Although I don't think the division commander is stronger than Machi and the others, at best they are evenly matched opponents. But I can't stand the large number of Chimera ants. The illusion that ants kill elephants is not fake. So Fisher still needs Nitero to help. Just in time, the old man Nitero said that he would let him warm up with some Chimera ants, so that he could reacquaint himself with the battle, and then challenge the Ant King. Therefore, the commander of the division belongs to the members of the forces on his side, and the captain of the army is responsible for Nitero and the hunter he brought, which is perfect. Time passed quietly, and it was still noon in the blink of an eye. Kill you and can walked out of the NGL embassy, brother, brother Fisher. The two shouted loudly after seeing Fisher and waved their hands. What a coincidence to come back. Glancing at Kilyu and Gun, Fisher looked at the car on the other side of the desert rolling in the dust, and raised his eyebrows. Dot. Chapter 153 The Butterfly Effect This guy actually brought the three of them? Fisher thought a little surprised as he saw Nitero and the others coming down from the rear compartment. There are six people in Nitero's party. Nitero, Molab, Norbu, Molab's apprentice Nakulan, Xuchuo, and Nobu's apprentice Pam. In the original book, Nakalu. Suto, and Pam did not get involved in the Chimera Ant incident so quickly. I didn't expect Nitero to bring them so simply this time. Is it because of me? I've already made a plan against the Chimera Ants. And he doesn't need to worry about it, so the old guy Nitero didn't make a plan, just take it easy and bring them here to see the world, and experience it by the way. Soon, Fisher said I thought of the reason why Nitero did this. In the original book, Nitero will do that because other people in the Hunter Association have their own things to do and none of the twelve earthly branches came over. Handle the Chimera ants carefully and deal with the Ant King. That's why they will be tested by Kulu, Ksuto, Kilyu and Gun. Only after passing the test will he gain his trust and let them join this hunt. But now, this Chimera ant incident has been taken over by himself. So Nitero didn't have any burdens, and didn't need to test or kill them, and just brought these people over to practice. Yo, Fisher, long time no see. What's the matter with the Chimera ants this time? It can actually attract the attention of a hunter of your level. Coming to Fisher. Mo Lawu, who had met Fisher once, greeted loudly and asked here's the thing to come. Ah, a huge hunt. According to Hunter's rating, the hunt this time has surpassed S rank, even the old guy like Nitero can't handle it. Fisher replied with a smile. President Nitero can't handle it, I can't agree with this matter. Nobu on a side heard Fisher's words. As a diehard fan of Nitero, he couldn't sit still, pushed his glasses, and retorted. Well, since Fisher said so, then this matter can be confirmed. Nob stood up for Nitero and Nitero stabbed the guy in the back. President, you say that too? Nobu frowned suddenly. Well, Nob, since Fisher said so, it must be possible. After all, old man Fisher is a strong man of the same level. Molo explained soothingly. The president is at the same level. Nobu was shocked when he heard that, looking at Fisher's smiling face. He didn't know what to say for a while. Why, isn't it? Fisher said with a smile. For Nob, Fisher quite admired him. Although this guy is not very strong physically and mentally. He has a good personality, the type that Fisher agrees with. In the original book, even though he was frightened by Shaipf's breath and physically and mentally collapsed, unable to fight, he finally entered the battlefield and rescued Xuchiro and Mola. For that alone it was worth Fisher's admiration for this guy, his weak mind and all that was nothing compared to that. Indeed, it doesn't look like it. The main reason is that you are too young, and this alone makes people unconvincing. Nobu looked at Fisher for a few seconds, and then spoke out his thoughts truthfully. Indeed. It was inevitable. A lot of people see my appearance and know my age will think so unconsciously. However, the fact is that I am indeed on the same level as Nitero. Even, I'm bigger than Nitero now. I'm going to fight the old guy Nitero, he's definitely not my opponent. Fisher nodded, agreeing very much, and then said confidently. No way, Nianki can't catch the body of a thunder fruit capable person like domineering. No matter how strong Nitero's hundred style Guanian is, he can't beat him. Unless this guy can reach Lemuel in the Lemuel secret realm. Loosen a level, otherwise Fisher and Nitero would be invincible in the fight. In fact, this time the Chimera can't. Fisher has full confidence because of this reason. Although the Ant King is powerful, 
He has not yet reached the level of Lemuel and Busong, and there is no good way to deal with his Thunder Fruit ability. However, Fisher would not use the elemental ability of the Thunder Fruit unless he had to. This time to deal with Chimeric Ants was originally for training. Let the members of the forces under your command increase their favor, and at the same time let your own favor increase accordingly. Better than the President. Everyone present was taken aback when they heard Fisher's confident words. Obviously, none of the people present thought that Fisher actually said that he was stronger than the President of the Hunter Association. You must know that Nitero, the Chairman of the Hunter Association, is one of the top five N players in the world and his strength fully deserves this title. Ho 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 ho, I had this feeling before, you kid may have surpassed me. Now it seems that the old man's feeling is not wrong. The client, Nitero, was very open-minded, and he was stroking the regrown beard at this time, and said with a smile. Hey, Fisher looked at the crowd and spread their hands, as if to say, look, Nitero has admitted it. Apostrophe vertical bar okay. Let's not talk about this, let's discuss the plan for this Chimera Ant Crusade. Noticing what this Sky Nobu wanted to say, Nitero spoke first. It's easy for this guy to talk to others because of his own affairs, it's better to interrupt as soon as possible, if he doesn't have time to waste time here this time. Well, the plan this time is very simple. Old man, you said that you are going to fight the King of Ants, so you need to warm up. Then this time, the captains and minions of the Chimera Ants will be handed over to you. Those division commanders will be dealt with by Kill you are behind me. They need to grow up. At the same time, you also need to be careful not to let Chimeric Ants leave this country. As for the three guards of the Ant King, leave it to me to deal with. Fisher nodded, and then said simply. He only has a general plan. As for the detailed plan to eliminate Chimeric Ants, it needs to be discussed by Nitero themselves. Hey, are you kidding me? Are you here to deal with me, man you owes? Hearing Fisher's words, Mola was the first to be dissatisfied. Um, will you be dissatisfied because of this? Mola, you are an ocean hunter. Dealing with creatures on land is not your specialty. Fisher rolled his eyes at him, and then said, Um, that's true. But we can't let us deal with some miscellaneous soldiers. Mola froze when he heard this, and then said, Indeed, I also wanted to take a look at Mola. Nobu also pushed his glasses to express his opinion. Just kidding, let us elite hunters come over to deal with miscellaneous soldiers. What do you think of the army? Okay, then when the time comes, you can choose your own division commanders to fight. Anyway, there are quite a lot of division commanders. Hearing this, Fisher pondered for a while, and then said, Anyway, there are quite a lot of division heads who are not scattered now, so it's no big deal to give them a few. By the way, Nob, what's going on behind you? Why are you staring at me? Um, chapter 154 Another Chimeric Ant Guard It's really not easy. If it weren't for the appearance of your apprentice, I would have thought that a certain quality in me was fake. Looking at the three Nakalu who left with Mechi and others, Fisher was deeply moved. The ability of sweet fruit Fisher knows very well that it will unconsciously exude charm and attract the opposite sex, even the same sex. However, since returning to the world of Hunter x Hunter, Fisher has not discovered that the ability of the sweet fruit has been used. Finally met this time. After seeing Fisher, Nobu's apprentice was attracted by the charm exuding from Fisher's body, and his eyes in the bangs in the air stared straight at Fisher. It's probably love at first sight. Nobu pushed his glasses and said, Nobu is very aware of the character of his apprentice. Pan, if you look at a person, you will be in the state just now, and you will put all your attention on the other person. Previously, my apprentice had been paying attention to me, liked me, tried every means to follow me, and did some messy things to attract my attention. Now that Pan turned his attention to Fisher, Nobu was really relieved. What is the matter if the apprentice likes the teacher? Well now, this apprentice who had a crush on him finally returned to normal, and turned his attention to other people. Okay, let's not talk about this, let's go. Didn't you say you want to see the enemy I mentioned earlier, 867, and I will take you there now. Put your hands on me. Hearing Nobu's words, Fisher thought of Pam's character, couldn't help but shudder, and quickly changed the subject. Ah, let's go and have a look. I really want to know the strength of the Ant King's guards you mentioned. Nitero nodded, and was the first to put his hand on Fisher's shoulder, and then turned to Nobu and Molan, shouted, You two also get in touch with Fisher. Fisher has the no space transfer, which can transfer us there in an instant. Hey. Space ability, it's a different department from Nobu's. Mola said unexpectedly, and then put his big hand on Fisher's other shoulder. Nobu put his hand directly on Nitero's shoulder. Okay, let's go now. Seeing that the three of them had come into contact with him, Fisher said, and then activated the magic, flicker. The figures of the four disappeared from the spot in an instant. Reappearance is already in the depths of NGL. Fisher, surprised by the sudden appearance of the figure beside him, Kurapika almost swung the chain, but fortunately, he felt Fisher's breath in time and came down. Teleportation, Ajd. Kate on the side was also surprised. Hey, did you come in all at once? Yo, Kate, long time no see. Mola glanced at the surrounding environment unexpectedly, 
and then greeted Kate. Long time no see. Kate responded lightly. It's really a convenient ability. Nobu pushed his glasses, glanced at the surrounding situation with Molan, and then said. However, the next moment, Nobu's face froze, and drops of cold sweat emerged from his forehead. The next moment, he quickly turned around behind him, looking at the battlefield in the distance. Seeing the evil aura like an abyss exuding on the battlefield, Nobu trembled all over. His pupils constricted, and he no longer had the confidence he had at the beginning. Really, Fisher, it's really what you said, it's really scary. Even Mo Lao at this time, a drop of cold sweat broke out on his forehead. For things like breath, the farther the distance is, the more blurred the perception will be, but it will only be like this in a static state. Once fighting starts, a person's aura will be exposed to the outside world without any precautions. What Mo Lao and Nobu felt now was Neferpetu's incomparably evil, abyss-like aura. That aura, as if they were face to face and close at hand, made them involuntarily terrified. Well, I'm not wrong. Am I right? Yugi's can't deal with existences of this level. Sensing that Nobu's situation is developing in the same way as in the original book, Fisher kindly helped Nobu and put his hand on Nobu's body. Wrapping the mine energy on his body, he gradually calmed Nobu's heart that was about to collapse, and said with a smile, Many, thank you. Nobu also noticed this, and once again he glanced at the wantonly venting evil aura on the battlefield, he then sincerely thanked Fisher. He knew that if Fisher hadn't made a timely move, his heart might have collapsed. Ho ho that guy might be stronger than me. At this moment, Nitero also spoke, and said with a smile, if he hadn't sensed Neferpetu's terrifying aura in normal times, Norbu might have had a good talk with him. But, now, he couldn't speak. He hadn't seen Nitero actually make a move. But that didn't stop him from passing judgment on Nitero's words. There is a good chance that what Nitero said will be true. Kate, how's the situation here? Nitero ignored the silent Nobu and asked Kate. He still doesn't know what happened to Kate when she entered here. The thing is like this. President Nitero, Kurapaka, Kiliwa, Gun and they entered. Kate heard this, nodded slightly, and then told about her entry into NGL. On the other side, Fisher also asked about Kurapika's situation. It doesn't seem to be near the ant nest, Fisher said to Kurapika. No, Lord Gino and Lord Silver forcefully transferred that monster to the battlefield after they came over. The ant nest is tens of kilometers away from here, Kurapika replied. Huh? Neferpetu actually gave up his duty of guarding and came here? It seems that another ant king guard has appeared in the ant nest. Is it ship for Menthu Thuipi? Fisher mused at Kuripika's answer. Before the ant king is born, the ant king guards are dedicated to guarding the queen ant, so that the queen ant can give birth to the ant king safely. If there is only Neferpetu alone, then Neferpetu will never leave the ant nest. But now Neferpetu is gone, and so far away. This means that there are other chimeric ants that Neferpetu can trust in the ant nest. This chimeric ant cannot be the head of the division, because the gap between the head of the division and Neferpetu is too great, and it is impossible to be recognized by Zufi Pitu. The only ones who can wait for Neferpetu's acknowledgement are fellow guards. With a thought, a circle appeared around Fisher, and then a humanoid beast slowly rose from the circle. Kurapaka, let's go, take my Nian beast to join Mancha and the others and then go directly to the Chimera Ant Nest to find another Chimera Ant Guard. After a humanoid Nian Beast materialized, Fisher commanded to Kurapika, Is that a monster? I see, I'll go over now. Kurapika was slightly taken aback, then nodded solemnly and left here directly with Fisher's Nian Beast. Dot. Chapter 155 A Different Ship, Upgrading. At the same time, on the Ant Nest side, at the top of the Ant Nest, on a platform, a figure was quietly leaning against the rock looking at the direction of Neferpeter with a calm expression. Short blonde hair, two antennae on the top of the head, wearing a white shirt dress with black trousers, and a black swallowtail cape on the back, dressed as a gentleman, this person is the second Chimera Ant Guard ship. There are also powerful existences among human beings, who have been able to fight by Duochen for so long. It seems that human beings should not be underestimated. Unlike in the original book, which treats human beings as ants when they were born, Shep, at this time, now recognizes after a human being was able to fight Neferpeta for so long, he no longer has the idea of underestimating human beings in his heart, and his mentality has undergone a huge change. It's about a day before the guy UP is born. Baido is fighting against the enemy. I'm the only one guarding the ant nest now, so I have to be careful. Thinking silently, Shep directly unfolded his circle, barely wrapping the entire ant nest in it. And in the depths of the ant nest, in a dark place, there is now a huge yellow egg and through the transparent membrane, ten figures curled up inside can be seen. Master Pufu, Her Majesty Queen has life. We need more nutrition. We need to send more people out, said Shep. You don't need to report this to me, you can decide on your own. Shep said directly without even looking at it. Yes, Mr. Pufu. Corrido replied, and then left here. Except for the Ant King, the three guards don't care about any Chimera Ants, even the Chimera Ant Queen. They exist for everything. The Ant King. It's been a long time since I saw such a fierce battle. It really makes my blood boil. No, I'm going to warm up now, 
and come to find this chimera and after warming up on Fisher's side. After listening to Kate's report, Nitero watched the battle between Neferpitu, Gino, and Silver for a while, feeling the whole person is full of energy and wants to rush out to find Neferpitu and fight. However, he is very calm, knowing that he has not fought this kind of enemy for many years, so he needs to warm up and get back the feeling of fighting. Jeds doesn't count. Immediately, Nitero said to Fisher, Fisher, the four of you will leave first, and I will leave it to you to watch over here, okay? Come back when the old man is ready. Well, go ahead. Remember to watch Kill you and the others for me, Fisher said calmly, still looking at the battle ahead, without looking back. Then, goodbye. Nitero is not a procrastination person. He just walks away, jumps into the distance, spans a distance of tens of meters in an instant, and flashes into the forest. Fisher, then I'm leaving too. Molawu also greeted, and followed the footsteps of the master. Fisher, I offended you before? Please forgive me. Nobu pushed his glasses and apologized to Fisher before leaving. It's almost time to exchange with Dad and Grandpa. This kind of high-intensity battle, it's no good to continue. Let them take a break, improve their grace and then continue to fight with Neferpatu. Half an hour after Nitera left, Fisher stood up from the rock and patted dust on the buttocks, said lightly. In the next moment, Fisher turned into a bolt of lightning and instantly submerged into the battlefield. Boom. Hey, I didn't expect you to be such a powerful person. Neferpatu, who was thrown out by Fisher's sudden intervention, put his hands and feet in the ground, and stopped after gliding for more than ten meters, his eyes glowing with Fisher. Grandpa, Dad, you go and rest first, we're changing. Fisher didn't answer Neferpatu, but said to Grandpa Gino and Dad Silver without looking back. Then I'll leave it to you, old man, I'll go to rest first. Gino said lightly with his shoulders slumped, then turned around, with his hands behind his back and walked slowly towards the back, and Father Silver, after taking a deep look at Neferpatu, also left here behind Grandfather Gino. Is this an exchange player? You look much stronger than the two of them. Neferpatu could feel the dangerous aura on Fisher's body, which made Neferpatu very excited, and the tail behind him was wagging like an electric fan. I'm Fisher's old for the first time, I'll deal with you next, Fisher said politely. However, Neferpatu would not return politely. While Fisher was speaking, Neferpatu rushed towards Fisher with a burst of fire stabbing towards Fisher's head with his sharp claws. Boom. Neferpatu's attack is extremely destructive. Even Kate, after being hit by Neferpatu, can't defend against it and will be injured. A normal person notices the powerful mind energy wrapped around Neferpatu's hand, and immediately dodges this attack. But Fisher is different. Fisher is doing the opposite. Facing Neferpatu's attack, the Fisher Enhancer condensed its domineering aura and blasted it directly. It hit Neferpatu's sharp claws straight. The terrifying force exploded in an instant, and the ground where the two of them were located instantly exploded a huge deep pit under this terrifying force. Above the pit, Fisher and Neferpeter stand out of thin air. The next moment, the two of them turned into two streamers of light and quickly entangled. Violent explosions continued to explode in this broken forest. The terrifying air wave swept in all directions like mountains and seas destroying everything around. While Fisher was fighting Neferpatu, Gino and Silver had already found a place to rest. As soon as the two sat down, they began to renew their favor. Very good, after playing a few games with this guy, I should be able to upgrade again. Looking at his updated favor, Gino smiled and said with satisfaction. LV.2, I just leveled up after one fight. Is it so easy to upgrade in Huey? On Silver's side, looking at his newly upgraded in Huey, Silver was a little puzzled. How is it possible? This kind of high intensity, life and death battle is rare. Much scarier than me fighting Neat Tero and Grandpa. That's why you can level up directly after fighting that monster once. A few more fights with that monster should allow you to level up again. Facing Silver's words, Gino rolled his eyes at him directly, and said angrily, Really? It's no wonder Fisher let us come here, and Jiaol is indeed a very favorable place for us now. I heard from Fisher that this time the Chimeric Ants will have three guards, and the one just now is one of them. There should be two more on the ant nest side. How about it, Dad? Do you want to go to the ant nest? Silver nodded and said lightly. Don't think about it. Fisher should have arranged for Crook and the others to go over to the ant nest. So let's not bother them for now. Let's just stay here. Our first level is changing opponents. Gino shook his head, vetoing lightly. That's it. Chapter 156 Chimeric Ant Hunting officially begins. What should I do? In front of a cave on a rocky mountain a few kilometers away from the ant nest. Machi put down the telescope in his hand and turned to kill you and others behind him. In her sight, Pufu's circle completely surrounded the ant nest, airtight, and it was impossible for them to enter it. That's not what Machi was asking, though. The group of them had no intention of entering the ant nest. After seeing Pufu's circle, everyone present knew that the opponent in front of him and others was very difficult, and they were not something they could deal with. Their opponents are those division heads. What Machi is asking now is whether to do it now. They don't go into the ant nest 
But now that chimera cats have come out to look for food, they can already do it. But what Fisher had told them was not to do anything until Nitero arrived. What should we do? Everyone in the cave looked at each other, and then Kiyu asked. 137. Let's do it. I have observed carefully. The purpose of releasing that circle is to protect the ant nest, and it seems that I won't do it. Pak Noten, who showed his devil figure with his hands folded across his chest, proposed aloud. Ah, uh, let's not do it. The chimera cat that surrounds the ant nest now, according to Brother Fisher's words, was the ant king's guard. The cat-shaped guard that kill you and I fought before also released you on at first, and we thought she was just on guard, but suddenly she attacked us. If Kripika hadn't reacted in time, Kate's hand would have disappeared. Gun didn't quite agree with Pak Noten's proposal. That's true. John agreed with Gun's words. At that time Nefertu appeared suddenly, he was also dumbfounded. He didn't arrive first and Nefertu would attack him suddenly, but he reacted in time, together with Kate and Gun. They blocked Nefertu's attack to kill Kripika. Otherwise, something happened to Kripika who was injured at the time. What do you think of the guards? Shizaku also put down his binoculars, looked at Kiryu and Gun and asked. View? My view is that we can't match that. Even if we all join forces and fight the guards, it's still an egg hitting a rock. Kiryu blinked, and then replied truthfully. This is how he really feels. Don't look at him and Gun playing against Neferpita before. That's because the big heads are on Kripika and Kate. Without the two of them. The two of us would have been Gamyova long ago. Is it that strong? Why don't I block that guy's perception? Kaluto, who was like a little transparent, suddenly suggested. Shield? What do you mean? Kilyu asked doubtfully after hearing what his younger brother said. Brother Fisher gave me a Myoji, which contains some barriers that can block other people's perception. As long as you use some auxiliary spells, if you use this enchantment, you can make that guy unable to perceive the outside situation. Kaluto nodded then explained. He has already mastered this, and now he can just use it. How wide is the barrier you're talking about? Michi said suddenly, picking up the binoculars again. If you just shield the perception, you can probably do it within a kilometer. Kaluto pondered for a moment, then replied, that won't work. This guy emits a lot of fluorescence, and the range of these fluorescence is at least about two kilometers. Your enchantment range is too small, you will be discovered. Hearing this, Michi directly rejected Kaluto's proposal. She only noticed this when she picked up the binoculars to observe again. Before that, she always thought it was the refraction of her eyes, but after careful observation, she found that the faint fluorescent lights floating in the air were from ship. As soon as these words came out, everyone picked up the binoculars in their hands and began to observe carefully. After a few seconds, Kiliua put down the binoculars and sighed, it really doesn't work. Sorry, my ability didn't work. Kaluto said a little disappointed. Do you want to fight those division commanders now? At this moment, a familiar voice suddenly came from above the entrance of the cave, and then, a lock of green hair suddenly fell down, and Menchai's face appeared in the eyes of everyone. Menchai, why are you here? Menchai didn't react for a while, and asked with blinking eyes. Did you forget that the target Fisher gave us is the guard army of Chimera Ants? At this time, another voice appeared from the side of the cave entrance. Everyone looked over and saw that Crook was leaning on his chest with his arms folded, at the entrance of the cave looking in the direction of the ant nest. Before a few people came back to their senses, Gailu also jumped up from the bottom of the cave and appeared in front of everyone. As Crook said, the few of us are targeting the ant king's guards, and we will leave that guy to us. You can deal with those division commanders now. Kripika appeared in front of the crowd, and said gently, Kripika, seeing Kripika, kill you and can yelled out, who is he? Shizaka was puzzled at the Nianman behind Kripika. This is Fisher's mind beast, which I brought here. Kripika explained, is that so? By the way, Kripika, has my brother gone to dad's place? Kiliwa nodded, and then asked quickly. You don't have to worry about things over there. Fisher has passed. With Fisher here, nothing will happen over there. Kuripika said with a smile, then glanced at Nian Beast beside him, and added, At the same time, nothing will happen here. That's right. That's good. Kiliwa felt relieved. Then, I'll leave that guy to you. At this moment, Machi put away the binoculars, said to Kuripika, and then jumped up and jumped out of the hole. Machi, wait for me. Seeing this. Shizaka hurriedly followed. Pak note and glanced at Kuripika and followed without saying a word. Then, Kuripika, we are also leaving, and I will trouble you to contain that monster. Kiliwa glanced at Michi and the others who had already disappeared into the forest, said to Kuripika, and jumped out. Goodbye, Kuripika. Gun also greeted with a smile, and then jumped down on his back. Um, don't these guys ask for information and then make a plan? Seeing that Kaluto was the only one left among the six people in the cave. Kuripika was a little dazed. Then he covered his forehead and said helplessly, This is probably the result of having confidence in my 5.8 strength. Menchai said with his hands on his hips, smiling. Hey, Kaluto, won't you follow? Crook looked at Kaluto who hadn't moved, and asked suspiciously. Ah, I'll go right away. Being called, Kaluto was also taken aback for a moment, and then followed Kiliwa's pace and jumped out after answering. Only Kuripika was left in the entire cave. The eyes of the four looked at the ant nest at the same time. Let's go. We're taking action too, Kuripika said, 
then stepped forward and rushed towards the ant nest. Call out, call out, call out. Three figures followed closely behind, and only Fisher's Nian Beast was left standing quietly in the cave. Chimera ant hunting has officially begun. Where did Nakalu and the three of them go? Fisher's Mind Beast murmured at the entrance of the cave. Dot. Chapter 157. The battle begins. The last guard is born. At this time, Nakulan and others in the mouth of Fisher's Mind Beast are wandering around in the NGL. Not long after the three of Nakalu entered the NGL with Machi and others, they encountered Chimera Kant soldiers who came out to hunt and forage. In the face of these soldiers who are outrageous and do all kinds of evil, the three of them will naturally not sit idly by. The hunt started directly, and Kilua and others are aiming at the division chief among the Chimera Kants, so naturally they won't waste time on these minions among the Chimera Kants. So the two conveniences are separated. Nakalu and others searched for Chimera Kant soldiers to kill and kill everywhere in NGL, while Kilua and others found the location of the ant nest directly along the route of these Chimera Kant soldiers and soldier leaders. When the four of Nitero found Nakuro, the three of Nakuro were still searching for Chimera Kants. Let me tell you, I asked you to follow Fisher's subordinates. Why are you making your own decisions? Looking at the disciple in front of him, Mola was furious. It's okay that nothing happened, but if something happened, it would be too late. The strength of the Ant King's Guard is so terrifying. No matter how bad the division commander below is, they can't deal with it at will. Facing the head of a division that he had never met, even he himself did not dare to say that he could win for sure. It all depended on the situation. Not to mention these juniors. When I came here, I was worried that they would meet a division commander at the level of the division commander. In the end, it was better to take Kulu and the other three, and they were separated from Kilu and the others. Ah, uh, isn't it already agreed that we will deal with the Chimera Ants and the commanders? and those division commanders will be handed over to Kilua and Gan. I saw the Chimera Ants, so I made a move. Rebuked by Mo Lawu's loud roar, Nakulu didn't dare to refute, and whispered. However, this is only what he thinks he is whispering, but Mo Lau and the others can hear it clearly. Nobu on the side was also reprimanding Pam at this time. I wanted to be with them very much, but Nakalu said that he wanted to eliminate Chimera Ants, so Xuchuo had no choice but to go along with them. I was brought here by teacher Nobu, and I'm on their side. Naturally, I can't be separated from them casually. Pam defended himself in a low voice. No, not an excuse, but a fact. Pam is attracted by the charm of the sweet fruit on Fisher, and now he is very concerned about everything about Fisher. I can't wait to be with Michi and others and learn more about Fisher from Michi and others. Naturally, I can't take the initiative to leave Michi and the others, but couldn't bear to deal with the Chimera Ants captain and the minions with the two of them. Pam had no choice but to go with the two of them. Really? You guys are really worrying. Nobu pushed his glasses and sighed. He had the same thoughts as Mola. No matter how bad the division commander was, he would not be too bad for the Ant King's guard, so he was very afraid that Pang would meet a division commander level Chimera Kant. Okay, okay, the matter has come to this point, so we don't need to talk about them. Nitero stood up and spoke for the three of Nakalu, and then told the three, You three, remember this time mistake, don't make it again. Since your master has given you the order, then don't run around at will. You think it's no big deal, but what if? What if Mo Lao Wu and Nobu have some plans in their hearts? It's very easy for you to run around. It is easy to disrupt their arrangement. Yes, we were wrong. The three of them immediately confessed and apologized in unison. That's the way it is. Now, Mo Lao, Nobu, Kate, you three will lead one, and start hunting step by step. As for the old man, I will act alone. The old man has to watch the ant nest while he is warming up, in case there are other guards coming out there! Exclamation mark. As soon as Nitero finished speaking, a violent explosion sounded from the direction of the ant nest. Everyone's eyes were immediately attracted. One by one, they jumped onto the big tree and looked in the direction of the ant nest. I saw that in the invisible place, the black spot represented by the ant nest was emitting thick smoke at this time. Hey, it seems that the manpower arranged by Fisher has passed. It's probably already fighting with the ant king's guards. Nitero put one hand on his forehead, making a gesture of looking out, and said with a smile, Is there no problem? Mo Lao asked worriedly after hearing the words in his heart. The Ant King's Guard Army is very important. Mo Lao Wu believes that Fisher's father and grandfather are the one who can fight against the Ant King's Guard Army, Fisher is one, and his master Nitero is one. As for the others, he really didn't think he could handle them. It's alright, you can rest assured that nothing will happen to Fisher. Nitero waved his hand and said casually, he has great confidence in Fisher. Fisher values his companions very much. Since he dares to let his subordinates come over, he is absolutely sure. Well, then let's start too hunting Chimera Ant soldiers and soldier captains. Nobu pushed his glasses and said, Yeah, let's get started. Nitero nodded, and then instantly disappeared from the sight of several people as a black shadow. Then, Xuto, follow me. Kate, who has been silent and has no sense of presence, saw Nitero disappear, and directly called Xuto to act with her. Okay, the taciturn Xuchuo replied lightly. 
The two of them nodded like Molam, and then chose a direction to leave. Then, Nobu, let's meet up later. Seeing Kate and Ksuchiwa go away, Mola said goodbye to Nobu, and then greeted Nakalu and left here. After Mola left, Nobu also left in the remaining direction with Pan. With the intervention of Fisher and the powerful Chimera Cants, everything became very easy. Neat Tero and his team were able to do a job with ease, and the atmosphere was not tense at all, and there was no need to make a careful plan to eliminate the Chimera Cants. Everything was done in a leisurely manner. Is going on. Back to a few minutes ago, at the top of the ant nest, on the platform where Shepf was. Shepf is now playing with a violin he doesn't know where. At one point, the moving music played by Shepf suddenly stopped. Shepf slowly opened his eyes. Someone is coming. The indifferent eyes looked into the distance and murmured in a low voice. On top. The next moment, Shepf's pupils narrowed and he looked up quickly. What caught the eye was a pair of long white legs. Except, Menchai, who appeared on top of Shepf's head, slashed down on Shepf with a powerful kick. Exclamation mark. A huge explosion resounded through the sky in an instant, and the entire ant nest began to shake. In the depths of the ant nest, where the ant king's guards were born, in the ovary of the last guard, Menthuthuipi, Menthuthuipi slowly opened his eyes amidst the shock. The next moment, a hand tore the fetal membrane and appeared outside, and then a red creature walked out from inside. Chapter 158, Han Yupi. What happened? At this time, the ant nest was in a mess, and many division heads who stayed in the ant nest quickly gathered together and the first division leader Kaludo shouted loudly. Someone attacked the ant nest, a division commander said. How come, isn't Master Shep on guard outside? How can someone attack the ant nest? The other division heads looked at each other in disbelief. The division heads present all knew how terrifying the strength of Wang's guards was. But I didn't expect that the king's guards were guarding outside, and they were actually attacked. I'll go out and have a look. Giju, the commander of the division, has the most out of the ordinary personality and likes to join in the fun. He said directly and then turned and left here. I'll go too. Afterwards, the head of the division, Shakan, also followed. I'll go too. Another division commander, Miron, said. Three division heads in a row left here and rushed out of the ant nest. Wait, you three, report as soon as you find something, understand? Corrido exhorted. Hi, hi, I see. Guido waved his hands and replied without looking back. The other two were completely unresponsive. Then, I'm going to appease the queen, Peggy said, and then turned and left here. However, in a different direction from Jido and the others, Peggy walked towards the depths of the ant nest, which is the Chimera Ant Queen's place of residence. The first combat alert situation, keep an eye on all the passages, don't let the enemy break in and disturb Her Majesty the Queen. Crudo issued an order to the remaining division commanders, and then turned in the direction of Peggy's departure rush to, because Corudo is the division chief in charge of Chimera Ant Queen, Corudo has the qualifications to command other division commanders. Hearing the words, the other division heads did not disobey their orders, turned around and left here, each of them found a passage and walked over. Before the death of the Chimera Ant Queen, although each division commander had their own ideas and some harbored ulterior motives, they would still obey orders. Even the scheming Lion Haga is the same. No, if the strength of the head of a division is only so small, it will not be effective in improving our favor at all. Vertical bar. In the forest, Machi, who has already skillfully used the ability of the fruit of the line, stretched out his hand and pulled an embedded hay cut off his head, then shook his head and sighed. These are the captains, they are too weak. Shizuka walked over with the blood-stained Popeye and said, Master Fisher said that there are not many division commanders, and each of us can get at most one. However, there are too many Chimera Cants who are suspected to be the division commanders. Coupled with this weak power, it is clear that they are not the division commanders, but at most the army commanders. Pak Noten also left come over and say to the two of them. It seems that our purpose of coming here this time is difficult to achieve. Fisher asked us to come here to find division commanders to become stronger. As a result, there were only a few commanders along the way except for those Chimera Cant residues. If this continues, it's still a question of whether we can meet the head of the division. Machi complained. They are very embarrassing in this operation. The captain of the army and the others could easily kill them, but the commander of the division did not see any of them. As for the Ant King's guards, this level is not something they can deal with at all. It's okay, just keep monitoring the ant nest. The chi at the division commander level will be much stronger than that of a soldier commander, there is no doubt about it. Using Ning, as long as you see a chimera ant that comes out of the ant nest, looks more like a human, and has a stronger aura, then it is definitely the division leader. Pei Kanuo Kun comforted. Well, let's do whatever we want spread out to monitor and keep in touch. Machi nodded. The three looked at each other, then flashed in different directions. On the other side, Kiliwa, Gun and Kaluto Kiliwa also formed a team. However, the luck of the three is much better than Machi and the others, because the three of them just met the three division leaders of Jido who came out of the ant nest, so the two sides directly fought. The speed of Guido was up against Kiliwa, the physically strong Gun was up against Miron and Kaluto was playing hide and seek. At this time, 
in the ant nest, the newly born Menthuthuipi was wandering around like a fly without a head. As he walked, Menthuthuipi directly entered the passage away from the ant nest and walked outside. Where is her lady queen? Menthuthuipi muttered while walking towards the outside. From birth, Menthuthuipi knew his mission to protect the king. And now the king has not yet been born, so his mission is to protect the queen who is about to give birth to the king. However, this naive, who was just born, may not have turned his head round. He never thought of using telepathy to contact the queen and ask her where she is, but ran around the entire round nest instead. However, this guy is simple, but he has a very keen sense of the strong and powerful. For example, not far from the ant nest, the battle between Shepf and Karapika was sensed by this guy. There are similar and strong guards in that direction, like me. Go and have a look. Muttering to himself, Menthuthuipi left the ant nest and rushed towards the battlefield of Karapika and others, forgetting his responsibility directly. And at the moment when Menthuthuipi walked out of the ant nest, Rotero, who was killing the leader and soldiers of the Chimera ant band, and Fisher's knee ant beast, who was staying in the cave, all involuntarily looked towards the location where Menthuthuipi was sleeping. The next moment, both of them stepped forward, soared into the sky, and rushed in the direction of Menthuthuipi. Both of them could feel the terrifying aura on Menthuthuipi's body. It was the induction between strong men. Menthuthuipi was just born, so he didn't understand these things, and he didn't restrain his aura so he was directly sensed by Nitero and Fisher. Dot. Both Nitero and Fisher understand that Karapiku and others are already at their limit to deal with an Ant King's guard army, and now that a new guard army has appeared, they are absolutely unable to deal with it. It must be stopped. Really, the old man's warm-up exercises haven't been completed yet. Zhao Ho Zhao, in the sky, Nitero, who was shot in the sky, complained dissatisfiedly that he hadn't regained the blood of his youth, and finally a new guard appeared. Huh? Nitero undisguisedly exploded his aura which caught the attention of Menthuthuipi, who couldn't help but stop walking towards the battlefield where Karapika and others were, turned his head to look in the direction of Nitero, and stared blankly. Watch. A powerful being is coming. Hanhanupi just stood there quietly waiting for Nitero's arrival. Soon, with a whistling sound, a figure soared down from the sky and hit Yupi in front of him, and the smoke filled the air but was quickly dispersed. Ho ho, are you the last member of the Ant King's guard? Nitero, who descended from the sky, asked with a smile. Ah. I am Menthuthuipi, old man. You are quite strong, Yupi said. Colon right, Nitero. Did you just tell me your name so casually? I feel a little silly. Dot. Chapter 159 Shape for Runaway The butterfly effect is too strong. Looks like we can't continue fighting Nefapata here. Leave it to Dad and Grandpa. It's time to go over to the ant nest. Fisher was thinking while colliding with Nefapata. The message from the ant beast made Fisher a little uneasy. Fisher didn't know if it was due to the butterfly effect. The ant king's three major guards were only born every few days. However, not long after Nefapata was born, Shape appeared. Now. Menthuthuipi also popped up. Fisher didn't know if the Ant King would suddenly be born after Yupi's ass. If the King Ant appears, then the matter on the Ant Nest side cannot be handled by Nitero. After all, if an Ant King is born, there will be a Chimera Ant in the Ant Nest that is comparable to or even stronger than Nitero. They can't deal with Nitero in Karapika, and they will die if they are not careful. You know, the newborn Ant King is pure evil, with a violent personality, bloodthirsty, regards life as dung, kills people at the slightest disagreement, even kills his own people and has no mercy at all. The Ant King Marum who has a human form after the influence of the King of Military Ceremonies Wheat. Fisher was really worried that the Ant King had already been born at this time. And he went late. Kilua and others were directly killed by the bloodthirsty Ant King who was just born, and they all went go-go. Even the presence of Nitero can't stop it. After all, although Nitero has the button of a hundred styles of Avalakite Zvara, it can only block one. What's the matter? Why did you stop? Continue to fight. Although there are serious injuries on his body. It can't affect Neferpatu's excitement at this time. Seeing Fisher suddenly stop, Neferpatu was puzzled and urged after saying that, Neferpatu rushed towards Fisher again. This is the most enjoyable battle she has fought since she was born. Even the fight between Kripiku and Gate, Kiliwa, and Gan, and the fight against Silver and Gino, cannot compare to Fisher alone. Fisher alone brought her unparalleled enjoyment, that is, fighting alone, evenly matched, without other factors, the pleasure brought by the battle made her unable to achieve what she wanted. However, Facing Neferpatu's proclamation, Fisher ignored it. Instead, with a flash of magic, he came to the side of his father Silver and Grandpa Gino who had finished their rest and were watching the battle. Huh? Fisher, aren't you fighting? Why are you here? Looking at Fisher who suddenly appeared, Gino wondered. I'll leave it to you, Grandpa, Dad. There's something wrong with the ant nest. I'm going to go there. Fisher nodded, and then explained to the two of them. Well, I understand. Then we will take over this monster. Hearing this. Gino nodded and took over the battle. Don't even think about running. At this time, Neferpatu, who realized that Fisher was gone, also found Fisher's location, kicked his feet, 
and burst towards Fisher, with an extremely excited smile on his face. Fisher ignored it, used magic blink again, and moved directly to the ant nest. And Neferpatu's attack was received by Gino and Silver together. Is it you again? In that case, let's do it. Neferpatu frowned, looking at Gino and Silver who blocked his attack, and at the empty space where Fisher was standing before, and then said helplessly. If there is no object to make me happy, then I can only retreat and fight with these two. On the other side, the ant nest is not far away. In order to avoid the ant nest being destroyed, Shep shifted the battlefield to the ant nest not far away. At this time, Shep did not confront Menchaya and the others head on, but avoided the attack of Menchaya and the others for some time. At the same time, they collect the emotions of Menchaya and others, and want to see Menchaya and others in a thoughts and explore intelligence. However, Shep, who spent a lot of time investigating and thoughtful, really collected the information he, Ajd, wanted from Menchaya and others. This also made his face darken. These guys are treating me like a whetstone. The scale powder that he radiated probes into the anger of Kripika and others, letting him know that Kripika and others' inner thoughts are to use him as an opponent, as a whetstone, to hone themselves and make themselves stronger. These people never thought of defeating me, they just wanted to make themselves stronger by fighting with me. It's a good thing, though. On the human side, there are a lot of strong men coming. Yupi was stopped by one person, and Baido was also entangled by other unknown strong men, unable to return here. Also, although these guys who are fighting with me now can't defeat me, they can still do it just by pestering me. Our three major guards are all entangled. As for the division commanders, they don't seem to be of much use. This is a bad situation. The security level in the ant nest is too low. Judging from the current situation, it is indeed a good thing that these guys regard me as a sharpening stone. As long as these guys are stabilized, the danger of the ant nest will be greatly reduced. At least, their thoughts are all focused on me so the birth of the king will not be affected. The birth of the king is absolutely allowed to be affected by any influence. Although Karipiku and others used themselves as sharpening stones, Shep was very angry, but after careful consideration, Shep was happy to fight with Karipiku and others, because he restrained four powerful human beings by himself, preventing them from entering the ant nest and affecting the birth of the king. As for the division heads in the ant nest, Shep had no hope at all. Any one of the four humans who fought with him could kill those crooked melons in the ant nest. He is very clear about this. Master Fisher is really right when he said that you are the one with the most inner drama in the three guards of the Ant King. From the beginning of the battle, you have been thinking and never stopped. While fighting, he observed the changes in Shep's size, and never missed the slightest change in Shep's size. Kuropika was deeply moved. Shep, who was able to play a role in the birth of the king, was shocked when he heard the word Ant King from Kuropika. These guys know about the Ant King. We can't let them live. Shep, who was just born, had little contact with the outside world and didn't know that the outside world has research on chimera cants, was directly disturbed by Kripika's words. In an instant, Shep's size changed, they were no longer as calm as before, harmless to humans and animals, but became extremely fierce, scarlet, and the level of danger skyrocketed. When it came to Wang's safety, Shep went berserk. The battle escalated at this moment, and the battle that was originally just a sparring battle directly entered the killing mode, and this battle finally entered a white-hot state. Dot. Chapter 160 Thinking, Strength Improvement When Shep went berserk and the battle with Kripaku and others completely entered the killing mode, Fisher had already come to the Nian beast he had released. Standing on the top of a big tree, Fisher looked at Yupi who was being slapped by Nitero's Bshi Guanian like a ball, and fell silent. Sure enough, as long as it's not crushing the game, as long as Nitero is in close combat, no matter who he hits, he can beat him like a grandson. Immediately. Fisher turned his attention to the battlefield where Karipika was in the distance. 1,056,326 1,035,632 My guess was right. The Chimera Ants three guards all have a mind energy cultivation base of around 1 million, which is really terrifying. Even a person with great talent will not be able to reach this value with all his life's efforts. Looking at the detection record in the detection value of the energy in his hand, Fisher murmured. The first value is for Neferpatu, the second for Menthuthuipi, and the third for Shep. These three Ant King's personal guards all have similar chi values, around one million. Speaking of which, what is the value of Nitero's mind energy? Fisher suddenly remembered that he hadn't detected the intensity of Nitero's mind energy yet. Just doing what he said, Fisher aimed directly at Nitero, who was batting the ball, and launched his own. 823,121. Amazing. At this age, he still has such a strong Nianchi intensity. This guy's Nianchi intensity was definitely over 1 million in his youthful peak. Looking at Nitero's Nianchi value, Fisher looked as expected look. Immediately, Fisher radiated his circle as light particles, detecting the surrounding situation. Did Kilua, Gun and Kaluto meet the division commander? However, these division heads can only attack with a basic energy coiling, 
and have not developed none at all. Is it because there is no shape? In this case, the effect of being a training object for Kill you and the others will be much worse. However, the head of the division didn't develop his own, and I can't force them to develop it with a knife. There is no time for that either. Make do with it. On Machi's side, all they encountered were captains and soldiers, and there was no division commander. Is the head of the division only these three? The rest of the division heads are all in the ant nest. Now there are two methods. One is to let the Machi enter the ant nest. But this method has a lot of disadvantages. The Ant King's personal guards do not allow enemies to enter the Ant Nest at this point in time. Once forced to enter, Shep and the three of them will definitely fight desperately. Then there is only the second one, let the division commander come out from inside. However, this method also requires access to the nest. While Shep and Menthuthuipi are now fighting their respective opponents, the interest in the Ant Nest has definitely not diminished. Even if I am, I can't enter it silently. No, it's not right. We can use another method. Thinking of this, Fisher's mind flashed, and his eyes shifted to Shep. If it's this guy, then this plan can be done. After all, in the hearts of Shep and the three Ant King's personal guards, division commanders don't have much status. They are dispensable and can be discarded at will. If the lives of these division heads are exchanged for the smooth birth of the Ant King, Shep will be very happy. After all, with this guy's loyalty to the Ant King, it's not a problem even if he sacrifices his own life. Seeing Shep, who was attacking continuously with streamers on the battlefield where Kurupika and others were, the corner of Fisher's mouth slightly twitched. However, before that, let me update my favor first. I don't know how much the value of favor will be increased by fighting with Neferpatu. The thought changed. Fisher temporarily put down his thoughts, and shifted his mind to favor. Fisher was very curious about how much his favor had increased after fighting with Neferpatu for more than two hours. Since the last update in One Piece World, thank you there is no magnetic favor. Fisher's old eek. LV.6 Power, 10C653 Durability 10d525 dexterity 10b726 agility 10b715 magic 10c625 development ability life a swordsman b killer c magic c thunder g magic blink instantly move you can move to the marked place without singing and it will consume a lot of magic power skill n the ability to manipulate life energy Freely manipulate the life energy emitted from the body to form a powerful ability. Three color domineering. The domineering color of the king. The domineering color of the armed. And the domineering color of knowledge. Is there such a numerical improvement after just playing for more than two hours? Sure enough, although in Hue I can be improved by sparring and so on, if you want to improve quickly, you still need to fight to the death with enemies whose strength is not much different. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. I'm level six now and I can improve so quickly. The mind energy on my body has increased a lot. Although it is not as exaggerated as when it was upgraded, it is still very impressive. Then Shep, Menthuthuipi, and then King Ant. After doing it like this, I should be able to upgrade. Looking at the parchment in his hand, feeling the changes in all aspects of the body's physical fitness and thoughts, Fisher said silently. Afterwards, Fisher directly threw the parchment into the system space put on his coat and stood up, probe the cultivation base of my thoughts, 1,310,100, no update before in Hui was 1,275,032 before, in other words, how much has it increased by 30,000 all at once, the higher the level of favor, the more the energy will be improved after the update, looking at it again, it was still getting more and more courageous, but it was still hit by Nitera like a volleyball, after Menthuthuipi, Fisher turned and flew towards the battlefield of Karapika. The speed of thunder is not something ordinary people can keep up with, not even Shep. Among the three guards, Shep's speed is very fast, only a little worse than Catwoman Neferpatu, but still can't keep up with Fisher's speed. Fisher strongly intervened in the battle, and directly chopped Shep, who was running wild in midair, into the ground with one kick, and the whole ground shook. Fisher, you're here. Karapika and the others were also shocked by this sudden scene, but after seeing that it was Fisher, they gathered around. Well. I have something to discuss with the sky. Go and update in Hui first, Fisher said with a light smile, and then ordered. Updating the favor will make Karapika and others stronger, making them more effective in fighting the three guards. Okay, the few people didn't ask why. They responded directly, and then each found a quiet place to renew in Hui. Of course, Karapika is alone, and Mencha and the three of them are together. Who are you? Shep, who was thrown into a rage by Fisher's kick into the ground, calmed down and flew out of the deep pit. Shep looked at Fisher solemnly. Hey. Shep, I'm Fisher Zoldyk, I have something to discuss with you, can I do you a favor? Fisher smiled and said politely, Shep, chapter 161 threat, deal. It's really scary, Zoldyk family. In the forest, Mole Awu and Nobu, who did not know when they gathered together, were looking at the battlefield where Fisher and Shep were at this time, and Mole Awu's forehead appeared at this moment. 
in a cold sweat. Ah, it's really scary. Nobby nodded in agreement. Since the battle started on ship, he has sensed four powerful auras besides ship. No need to think about Nobu, who knows who the masters of these four breaths are. The masters of these four auras are fishers direct stewards and the existence of the Zoldyk family. Moreover, the auras of the four are several times stronger than theirs. What surprised me the most was that Crook and Gale also became fishers subordinates. Also, the other breath is that girl Mench I. Mo Lao Wu nodded and said, Ah, indeed. This is what shocked me the most. I didn't expect the two twelve earthly branches to join the 463's Oldik family. Nobu was also very surprised. Mr. Nobu, can I also join the Zoldik family? At this moment, Pam's voice came from behind Nobu. The scene suddenly fell silent. Nob, Molal, Nakalu. Leaving aside what kind of lightning strike Pam's astonishing words caused to Nobu and the others, the camera shifted to Fisher. You said that I will order the head of the division to fight with your men. Shep was surprised. Just now. Fisher actually told him that he should give an order to let all the division chief chimera cants in the ant nest come out. Isn't this the biggest joke in the world? Although he looked down on these low-strength division heads. These division heads are now the last line of defense for the queen. How could he destroy this line of defense by himself? You three personal guards of the ant king are waiting for the birth of the ant king. Me too. However, this does not mean that I will definitely wait for the birth of the ant king. Our strength here is enough to stop your three personal guards. You must be very clear. And me? No one can stop me. I can enter the ant nest at any time, kill the queen, and kill the unborn ant king. What do you think? Fisher threatened with a smile. It's ridiculous. I didn't expect you to use this to threaten me. Shep not only didn't panic, but sneered and mocked. The king has matured and can come to this world at any time. Why would he be afraid of this? However, if you can continue to absorb more nutrients, the power of the king after birth should be even stronger. Shep looked at Fisher with a sneer but began to think in his heart. Do you want the Ant King to be born early? Fisher didn't care about Shep's ridicule, but said lightly. Fisher is also very clear that with the appearance of the three guards, the Ant Queen should have already formed and will be born at any time, but the Chimera Ant Queen wants to absorb more nutrients so that the Ant Queen can absorb more and improve its own qualifications and strength. Dot. That is the Ant King in Chimera Ant Queen's mind. And once the baby is born early, it will be a premature baby. Although nothing will happen it will have a great impact on aptitude and strength. This is definitely a big deal for the three guards. The Ant King's own will came to this world ahead of time, which was the king's decision, but he was affected by the appearance of others, so he was born in this world ahead of time. These are two concepts, and they are the dereliction of duty of these personal guards. It is absolutely impossible for the three guards, especially Shep, who is devoted to the Ant King, to let this happen. Sure enough, as soon as Fisher said this, Shep's face changed suddenly, and he stared at Fisher with a stern look. Why? Do you want to kill me? It doesn't matter, you can do it anyway. I'll hold you back, and let my subordinates enter the ant nest to kill the chimera ant queen. It doesn't matter. Seeing Shep's face changed drastically, Fisher naturally knew what this guy was thinking, said without changing expression. Shep's face darkened even more. However, this gloom came and went quickly. Shep's face became calm in an instant. I can assure you that as long as you do what I say, then I will not affect the smooth birth of your king. If you don't believe me, you can directly make a restriction oath now. Seeing the change in Shep's face, Fisher knew that he had already succeeded in half, so he added a bargaining chip. As soon as these words came out, Shep's complexion changed for the better. Shep could feel through the scale powder that he exuded, that Fisher really thought so, so his complexion was better. I need to discuss with Bido and UP, how about a temporary truce? Shep nodded and said to Fisher. After speaking, Shep did not move. However, Fisher knew that Shep was using telepathy to contact Menthuthuipi and Neferpatu. Sure enough, Fisher's thoughts flashed, and in the distance, a figure soared into the sky from the battlefield between Menthuthuipi and Nitero, rushing towards this side. Immediately afterwards, a huge Guanian Buddha statue rose into the sky, and there was a figure in the hands of the Guanian Buddha statue. Both sides are rushing towards this side. The speed of both of them is very fast, and they have come here in an instant. Only then did Fisher see the appearance of the two of them clearly. This guy Manthuthuipi has been beaten by Nitero to evolve several times, and he has become the man and horse in the original book. This guy was very grumpy when he came over. Hey, Pufu, why did you ask me to come here? Manthuthuipi asked in a bad tone when he came to Pufu's side with his horseshoe. Don't be impatient. Up, I'll explain it to you when Bido comes over. Shep reassured, Fisher, what happened? On the other side, Nitero also came to Fisher's side and asked Fisher. Kurapaku and others disappeared, but Fisher appeared here, and seemed to shake hands with Shep and stop fighting, which made Nitero very puzzled. It's a deal with that guy. Let's put the two sides directly on the bright side, and then we can fight them like a ring. Fisher simply explained, as long as the steel is reached. Mechi and others also have a division leader who can fight and increase the favor and the battlefields of Dad, 
Grandpa 5.4 and Nefertiti can also be moved here. I can see the end at a glance, and I can grasp the situation here. Fisher is still a little worried about the battle between Dad and Grandpa and Nefertiti. Kill two birds with one stone. Is it on the surface? Okay, I see. Nitero nodded knowingly when he heard this, and then took out a phone and started making a call. Hello, Moxie Moxie, Mola, come to my side now. While Nitero was on the phone, there was a sound of breaking through the air, and then a figure fell from the sky and hit Shep and Menthuthuipi. What's going on? Meow. Neferpetu who came back asked Shepf curiously. Here's the thing. Shepf glanced at Fisher, then began to explain to Neferpetu and Matthew Thuipi. Dot. Chapter 162 Smelly Shameless, Neferpetu's Possessiveness. Your Majesty Queen, this is the way it is. What do you think? In the ant nest, Shepf knelt on one knee, put one hand on his chest, and respectfully reported to the Chimera Ant Queen. Before the Ant King was born, their three guards still obeyed the orders of the Chimera Ant Queen. However, after the birth of the Ant King, the object of their allegiance will be transferred to the King, and the Chimera Ant Queen will be dispensable. Shep's heart was inclined to trade with Fisher, because the situation forced it. What Fisher said was right, once the three guards were entangled, the Ant Nest would be very dangerous, and it would affect the birth of the King. Even the three of you can't stop it. Hearing Shep's report, Chimera Ant Queen was very surprised, but not angry. Yes, although I really don't want to admit it. But with us alone, it is very difficult for the division leaders to resist a strong man from the human side entering here. There are too many strong people on the human side this time. Subordinates suggest, agree to the request of the strong man on the human side, ask the head of the division, let us fight with him. Even if the head of the division will suffer losses, as long as the king can be born smoothly, then everything is worth it. Shep nodded slightly, and then advised, for Shep, as long as the king can be born in this world safely and smoothly then all losses are worth it. Even if he was sacrificed, if that's the case, then there's nothing we can do. The outside affairs are all handled by you three, and I will let the division heads follow your arrangements. Chimera Ant Queen was silent for a moment, and then made a decisive decision. Yes, your Lady Queen. Shep flowered his head in response, then got up and left. But at this time, outside, in a large open space below the ant nest, opened by violence, Fisher and others are confronting Menthew Thuipi and Nefertu at this time and behind them are Guido and Shenksu and Meretta's three division heads. As for Fisher, all the people who came to NGL this time are also present. Dad Silver and Grandpa Gino also arrived here not long after Neferpetu arrived. At this time, Neferpetu's eyes were fixed on Fisher. His face was agitated but he forcibly suppressed this impulse. As for Menthuthuipi, this guy kept looking at Nitero, showing dissatisfaction on his face, as if he wanted to continue the fight with Nitero for another 300 rounds, and get back the face. He had just been shot as a volleyball. As for Shaken and the others, they each focused on the opponent just now. It's an unimaginable idea to trade with Chimera Cants and fight directly. Standing behind Nitero, Nobu frowned and said to himself, Well, this method is also very good, isn't it? At least the Chimera Cants can be bound here, so you don't have to worry about them leaving the ant nest to hunt around. Just now you understood that there are a lot of Chimera Cants, and it is impossible to catch them all with just a few of us. There will be many fish that slip through the net, and once these guys are out of our sight, they will have a huge impact on this country. What a terrible disaster it will bring to the human beings in this country. After hearing this, Mo Lao Wu said. Hearing this, Nobi nodded in agreement. Since entering NGL, they have seen a lot. Almost all the villages they visited were in a state of emptiness, and the further they went to the ant nest, the situation became more serious, and there were no living people at all. In other words, radiating from the ant nest to the surroundings, within a radius of tens of kilometers, there is no human being alive except for them. This also made Nobu firm, the idea that Chimera Cants cannot stay. The same idea is the same for others. They have all seen the horrors of the whole NGL, so they have no compassion for Chimera Ants. Fortunately, you took over the affairs here this time, otherwise, with the manpower I brought over, the matter would definitely develop in a worse direction. At this time, Nitero was also communicating with Fisher. Nitero is very fortunate at this time. When I heard Fisher talk about the things here before, he didn't take it too seriously. Therefore, when recruiting manpower, they only summoned their own apprentices, Mola and Nobu, two experienced elite hunters with relatively strong auxiliary abilities. None of the other people from the twelve earthly branches were called over. Because he is very confident in himself, he can handle this matter well by himself. But I didn't expect that there would be three existences with almost the same strength as me in this Chimera Cant incident. As for that guy Menthew Thuipi, if he beat him up, he was still alive and well. And there are two others at his level. If it is really handled by him by the team he brings, this incident is really hanging. They are absolutely unable to stop the expansion of Chimera Cants. Just like in the original book, after the birth of the Ant King, he directly invaded Donguachuo. Because Nitero at that time knew that he could not handle the affairs here alone, so he did not stop him. 
In the original book, Nitero knew that he could not deal with the incidents here alone, so he turned his idea on Zoldiak, and spent a huge amount of money to invite Gino and Silver to help him separate the Ant King and the personal guards, let him and the Ant King fight to the death. Capture the thief first and capture the king first. You're welcome, I'm here for my purpose, Fisher said with a light smile. Hey, Fisher, you dare to use this level of existence to train troops, you are really daring. Nitero said with a smile when he heard the words. His vision was very vicious, and he could easily see the changes before and after Gino and the others fought with the guards. Great changes have taken place, whether it is Gino, Silver, or Karapika, the aura on their bodies has undergone great changes, and their spirits have been greatly improved. This let him know that what Fisher 627 said before to let the members of the faction come here to train is not false. They really dare, and they really pay off. As for the secret of why he got such a big improvement after just one game, Nitero didn't intend to explore this point. After all, everyone has their own secrets, and it is a very taboo thing to inquire about them rashly, and they might become mortal enemies. He wouldn't do such a mindless thing. Thank you. Fisher still had a faint smile on his face. However, you poached two of the old man's twelve lands. Tell me, how do you pay for it? As soon as these words came out, the smile on Fisher's face disappeared, and he looked at Nitero carefully, and spit out a few words after a long time. Shameless. On the other side, seeing Neferpeter staring at Fisher all the time. The idiot Menthuthuipi also became curious about Fisher. Baido, why are you staring at that guy? Hey, this guy is very strong. He didn't lose the wind when he collided head on with me for several hours. He is a very good opponent. Neferpeter said excitedly with his finger on his mouth. Hey. Was it a head-on collision? Interesting, I'll meet this kid after I get rid of that old man. Menthuthuipi suddenly became more interested. No. Meow, I want this opponent. Chapter 163 Contract Fisher, we need to change our opponent later. Beside Fisher, Silver stared at the opposite side without squinting, and said to Fisher at the same time. Change your opponent? That is to say, Neferpatu's boosting effect has become weaker. Fisher was slightly taken aback when he heard what his father Silver said, and then instantly understood what Silver said. Well. Just now your grandfather and I updated in Hui again, and found that the value of in Hui has increased a lot less than before. I guess it's because of the relationship with the same opponent, so the effect will gradually weaken. Silver nodded, telling the truth. If there is only one enemy, Silver will continue to fight Neferpitu even if the boost is weakened. But now, Chimera Ant has two other guards who are not much different from Neferpitu in strength. He and his further Geno still have a chance to choose, so he chooses to change opponents. Okay, who do you want to fight? Fisher didn't refuse and said directly, that red guy, the other thing is that it doesn't feel smooth to fight, but it would be more comfortable to fight this way, at this time, Grandpa Jinuo also came over and gave an answer, yuppie, yes, wait a minute, are you okay, old man, Fisher nodded, agreed, and then looked at Nitero and said, you've already made up your mind, why are you asking this old man, Nitero said unhappily, this guy Fisher responded directly, and asked himself, isn't this taking off his pants and farting, and it's superfluous. Doesn't this show that my junior is humble and polite? Fisher said with a smile. Nitero, carrot tilde equals small, colon. Fisher, it's okay, I change another opponent to warm up and prepare for the next fight with the Ant King. Although he despises Fisher, Nitero has no objection. He now needs to warm up well to deal with the Ant King who will appear next. To be honest, I had a great fight with Menthuthiwipi just now. No, it was a great fight but his warm-up exercise has not yet been completed, and now it is almost the same to play with another opponent. Then, it's decided, wait for Grandpa and Dad to deal with Menthuthuipi. Nitero you fight Neferpatu. Kurapaka, Crook, Gallo, Menchai, you four are still dealing with ship. As for the remaining division heads, the division commanders are dealt with by Kilua, Gun, Kaluto, Michi, Shizaku, Paknoten, Molam, Nabu, and you guys. Each find the opponent they want to fight. Of course, you can take part in the battle with Kulu. Suto, and Pam, but it doesn't matter whether you live or die. Fisher nodded to Nitero, then turned around and spoke to the crowd, making arrangements for them. They set up their own opponents. Let's do it this way, it's best to wipe out all these Chimericans. Regarding Fisher's arrangement, Mola had no opinion. Well, let's do it like this. Nobu agreed. Leave it to me, brother. Kilua shouted with high fighting spirit, staring fixedly at Jido on the opposite side. Since developing lightning fire, he is also the first guy who can keep up with his speed in battle which makes Kilyu a very excited. Leave it to me, Brother Fisher. Gun also quickly expressed his opinion, patting his chest full of confidence. The others who were named, except Father Silver and Grandpa Gino, all nodded their heads. Your Excellency Fisher, I also want to fight with the head of the division. At this moment, Nakalu raised his hand and shouted at Fisher. As I said, you can fight with the head of the division if you want, but look at yourself, even if you are killed by the head of the division, I will not care about it, Fisher said lightly. But, speaking of this, Fisher the Tropic changed. If you are in danger, 
I will go out and save you at a critical moment. After all, as I said before, I owe you a favor. Oh, hearing Fisher's words, Nakalu, a spirited boy, yelled excitedly. When Nobu, Xuchuo and Pang Mu heard this sentence, they all looked at Nakula in surprise. Unexpectedly, Fisher would owe Nakuka a favor. And at this moment, Shep's figure slowly appeared in front of everyone from the ground oil outlet of the ant nest. There are several division heads behind him. The appearance of Shep brought the eyes of everyone present together instantly. How about it? What's your answer? Looking at Shep, Fisher asked lightly. However, despite asking, Fisher knew that his goal had been achieved when he saw the division commander behind Shep. No problem. We agreed to your request. Let your people choose the opponent. Shep looked calm, but his eyes were extremely cold, looking at Fisher and replied indifferently. TCH. Did you really agree to this ridiculous request? Menthuthiwipi shouted in displeasure. No way. There are too many strong people on the human side. Everything is for the smooth birth of the king. Nefapata didn't have any objection. It would be better to say that this guy was already excited and eager to try. His eyes fixed on Fisher. His vertical pupils never averted his eyes. The tail on the back is wagging rapidly. Vertical bar the same goes for the three of you. If you want to fight against us, it's okay. Fisher didn't care about the reaction of the two guards, and continued. Ah, yes. But all of you must make a restriction oath that you cannot break into the ant nest before the king comes. Shep made a request lightly. There is no way. The situation is stronger than the people. For the smooth birth of the king, they have to bow their heads. Moreover, there are restrictions and oaths, and they are not afraid of Fisher and others going back on their word. Restriction oath. Shep learned about this from Neferpatu, and this is one of the reasons why he believed Fisher. As for how Bido knew, we have to talk about an unlucky guy. That's right. The unlucky bastard Kyo was still overthrown by Neferpatu, and Neferpatu extracted a lot of information from his brain. Okay, let's establish a joint restraint together. Hearing this sentence, Fisher knew that the matter was settled, so he raised his hand and said, Joint restriction, maybe it would be better to change it to another name, contract. It is a restriction that Nien likes to set up when they cooperate. Neither party, leaders, can violate it, and those who violate it will only have a dead end. Whoever disobeys will die. Can. Shep on the opposite side raised his hand then glanced at Neferpit when Menthuthuipi and the army leaders behind him. How? asked the stupid Menthuthuipi puzzled. Just wait until you read it along with Shep, Neferpit said. All right. Seeing that the other side had already started to prepare, everyone on Fisher's side looked at each other, and then slowly raised their hands to rape. Afterwards, the thoughts and energy of the two sides surged and flew into the air, entangled and evolved together. Soon, two pieces of paper revolved from thoughts and energy and filled with Hunter's world words took shape. The next moment, the two contract papers flew towards one side and fell into the hands of Fisher and Ship. The two browsed carefully. Within a few seconds, the two raised their heads, looked at each other, and then spoke at the same time. The contract is established. Dot. Chapter 164. Their respective battlefields. Now you don't have to worry about the king being influenced by these guys. Looking at the contract paper in his hand, Ship was slightly relieved. Situation is stronger than people. This is something he never thought of since he was born. Shep didn't know that there were so many powerful beings among human beings that in order to be born smoothly, he actually had to compromise with human beings. Obviously, those humans were easily captured by the soldiers before and made into the queen's food. Then, you can choose your opponent now. I want you to meow with me. While Shep was meditating, Neferpita spoke, pointing at Fisher excitedly. It doesn't matter to me, but there is someone on our side who wants to fight with you. If you can defeat him come to me. Fisher wanted to fight with Neferpatu. After all, it can increase the value of favor, but seeing the surge of thoughts, Nitero, who was already ready for battle, Fisher still shrugged and spread his hands. Then I don't care about Meow, it's most comfortable to fight with you. Neferpatu didn't care about this at all, and said excitedly, then kicked his thigh, disappeared in an instant, and rushed towards Fisher. In just an instant, Neferpatu appeared in front of Fisher, with an excited smile on his face and stabbed Fisher's face with sharp claws. At the critical moment, out of the corner of Neferpatu's eyes, he noticed something strange about Nitero beside Fisher. In her incomparably keen body senses, Neferpatu could clearly see that after Nitero's slow prayer gesture was closed, a giant golden palm appeared from her side and pushed her directly. He came over and slammed heavily on her body. The terrifying force made her completely unable to resist when she was caught off guard. Boom! Accompanied by a violent roar, the sonic boom cloud spread and Neferpatu's body turned into a meteor burst and shot out. Afterwards, Nitero also made a burst shot, chasing after Neferpatu in the direction where he flew out. When Yupi on the opposite side saw this scene, the corners of his eyes twitched slightly. It was this old man who beat him so badly just now. However, Yupi also knew that since the old man made a move against Neferpatu, his opponent had changed. Immediately, Menthuthuipi looked over in the direction of the gaze that fell on his body. Adzi. 
just now and has not shifted. You two are my opponents. Looking at Gino and Silver, Menthuthuipi said to them. Ah, come with us. You don't want to destroy the ant nest because of the battle. Gino said with a faint smile on his face. That's true, but you geese still come with me. Menthuthuipi nodded in agreement, but then moved for horseshoes and rushed out in a certain direction. Seeing this, Gino and Silver turned into an afterimage and followed without saying a word. Seeing that both Neferpitu and Yupi had chosen their players to leave, Shep also looked at Gripiku and the others. I don't know what happened to these guys. They are much stronger than when they fought with me before. Seeing the obvious changes in the spirits of Karapika and others, Shep muttered inwardly. Immediately, Shep spoke. It's better for you to be my opponents, right? Follow me, he said lightly. Shep flapped his butterfly wings and flew in the opposite direction where Fabi Duo and Menthuthuipi left. The contract has been signed, and Shep is not afraid of Fisher entering the ant nest, because Fisher will die because of this contract without Shep's hands. Then, Fisher, we have also acted. Mencha and others greeted Fisher and then followed. The three personal guards of the Ant King's guard army have been assigned. Boy, come with me and continue our unfinished battle just now. At this time, Shaken from the opposite side also came out and shouted at Gan. Another kid, come again. Guido also came out and shouted at Kilua. I won't fight, it's not interesting to fight with that kid. Miron looked at Kaluto, but shrugged his shoulders, lacking in interest. My Lord Queen has issued an order. Besides, we signed a contract just now. You have to fight if you don't want to fight. Haga the lion walked over and said with a smile, and then glanced at Fisher, with the last look it fell on Molawu. Should it be called an old enemy? In the original book, this guy was in the hands of Molau. This time, this guy still found Molau. It's you, let's go. Haga yelled at Molau, and then left in a random direction. Then I'll go first, and you guys should work hard too. Molawu greeted several people and followed them with a huge pipe on his shoulder. And Kilua and Gan also left with Shaken and Gidu. Hearing Haga's words, Miron scratched his head helplessly, then gave Kaluto a look and left with his pockets in his pocket. Brother Fisher, then I'll go first. Kaluto said to Fisher obediently. Go ahead, be careful. Fisher nodded mildly. Okay. Kaluto responded, and then followed Miron and left here. Choose your opponent too. Seeing the four people who had already left, Fisher said to the few people who hadn't picked their opponent yet, and then jumped up and left. He can intervene in the battle of the division commander, but he will not intervene. Without him, give Kilua their strength. Moreover, the most important reason is that these division heads are too weak. Fisher can kill more than a dozen division heads at any time. If they get together, they can be wiped out with a single rage. It's really not worth fighting. Landing on a rocky mountain, Fisher made it cross-legged, and then separated a Nyan beast, and his eyes fell on the battlefield of Shep and Menthuthuipi, two personal guards of the Ant King. The battlefield of the division commander Fisher is not worried. They have the ability to handle it. The only ones who are a bit dangerous are Shep and Menthuthuipi, the two personal guards of the Ant King, as for Nitero and Neferpitu, he doesn't need to worry about the old man's battle. Ant King, hurry up and be born. Chapter 165 The idea of subduing the Ant King's three guards are terrifying in strength. Even if it's me, facing the combination of three people, I will lose without the power of the thunderous fruit. After the fight, maybe you can try to subdue it. After all, Chimera ants have not had any conflicts with the Zoldyk family since their creation. It's the Zoldyks who have come to trouble the Chimeras from the beginning. There's no unresolved animosity between the three gods of the Ant King and Zoldyk. Two days, just these two days. After two days, I will hunt them down, defeat them, and then use the force of twisting to subdue whichever one. I can't go to the Dark Continent for the time being. No, it should be said that I can't go there at will. At least I need to cultivate my mind energy to the limit and start on the road to ignite the fire before I can enter there at will. Before then. Members of the Zoldyk family entered the dark side, as powerful as possible. The stronger the better. Looking at the two battlefields, Xiu muttered to himself. This is Fisher's idea that suddenly arises. Fisher wants to subdue the three major guards and strengthen the strength of his direct battle forces. If there are three major guards joining, then the power under his command will definitely be higher. However, before that, screening must be carried out. If they have eaten humans, then this idea can only be given up. Fisher continued to think. This is a matter of position. Fisher is a human being so it is naturally impossible for him to choose to be a companion with a man-eating monster. Immediately, Fisher's gaze shifted to another direction, which was the direction of the ant nest. With a flash, Fisher rushed towards the ant nest. Soon, Fisher came outside the ant nest. At this time, there is a Q version of Shep here. What do you want? Seeing Fisher suddenly appearing here, this Q version of Shep asked vigilantly. This Q version of Shep is the clone of Shep, which is separated from the ability of Lord of the Flies, and is specially guarded here. This is why Fisher said before that even he himself cannot enter the ant nest quietly without Shep's knowledge. Because Shep's Q version clones are almost all over the entrance of the ant nest. It is to monitor the entry and exit here and prevent the enemy from entering it. Don't worry, 
I won't enter the ant's nest. I came here especially to find you. Looking at the vigilant clone of Shiv, Fisher smiled lightly, and then quickly flashed his arm and held it in his palm. Hey, Shiv, have you ever eaten a human being? Fisher asked lightly, looking at the Q version Shiv in his hands. What does this have to do with you? Shiv, the Q version, was not afraid of being grabbed, and snapped. Ah, it's alright. You've passed. Fisher was not angry when he heard that, and let it go and said with a light smile. Memory search, this is the cold calendar that Fisher got from Pak Noten. The reason why Fisher did this just now was to probe Shiv's memory. When a person is asked, the answer to the question often pops up in his brain unconsciously. As long as the ability of memory search touches the person's body, then you can search the picture in his mind, so as to know the information you want to know. Fisher had taken the geese memory from Shiv's mind. And obviously, being able to get the word qualified from Fisher, Shep has never eaten anyone. Just when Fisher was about to leave and go back to the original place to continue monitoring the battlefield, Fisher suddenly thought of something. Perhaps, I can directly twist the will of this guy's main body through his avatar. Looking at Shep, Fisher thought with great interest. But the Q version of Shep couldn't help but feel a chill on his back and a cold sweat on his forehead when Fisher thought about this question. What's going on? Q version Shep thought with some doubts about life. Sweating? How could I have such a reaction? This idea may be realized, but it is better to wait for two days according to the plan just now. Talk about it in two days. Fisher glanced at Shep, who was suddenly sweating, and thought lightly, before rushing in another direction. This is the direction in which Nitero and Neferpeta departed. Fisher's speed was very fast. In just one minute, Fisher covered a distance of dozens of kilometers and came to the battlefield of Nitero and Neferpeta. At this time, Neferpeta is no different from Menthuthuipi before and is being shot by Nitera like a volleyball. This guy really is a melee fighter, the one who beats his grandson. Melin, unless someone is as strong as the Ant King, can withstand Nitero's attack, and can find Nitero's bad habits and flaws in the ever-changing attack methods, otherwise there is really no solution. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. When Fisher first arrived here, Neferpita was being slammed and rolled on the ground by Nitero. Fisher. Why are you here? Nitero came over all at once and asked with doubts on his face. Could it be that you want to rival the old man? I haven't warmed up enough yet. It's okay, I'll keep you up for a while, I won't compete with you. Fisher said with a smile, and then rushed down to Neferpetu who had stopped, stared at Nitero, hesitated, and seemed to be thinking about how to break the game. Huh? Neferpetu, who was thinking about it, also noticed Fisher rushing towards him, and immediately showed a vigilant look. Just a Nitero made me look like this. Now I add a Fisher, what's the point? However, this guy's vigilance was useless. Although Neferpetu's speed is fast enough, his speed is more explosive and powerful, which is better than Fisher, who is flexible and has the ability of Thunderfruit. As soon as Neferpetu put on a defensive posture, Fisher had already appeared behind her, with a hand on her shoulder. Hey, Neferpetu, have you ever eaten a human? Eh? The sudden appearance of Fisher behind him made Neferpetu startled, but the next sentence made him even more stunned. Okay, I understand. You have passed. Fisher came and went quickly, and when Neferpeter was slightly dazed, Fisher dropped a word and left here. Left alone, Nitero and Neferpeter looked at each other. What is this guy doing here? The two looked at each other, as if they could see such a meaning in their eyes. At this time, Fisher has already rushed towards the direction when he came. As for using magic flicker to move directly to the side of Dad or Grandpa Gino, Fisher hadn't really thought about it, because Fisher is not a masochist. The current Dad and the others are fighting Yuppie, and if they dodge by themselves, the possibility of being flanked by both sides is the greatest. Although I am a thunder fruit capable user, I don't have to worry about being hurt at all, but being attacked is still very uncomfortable. It should be said that it is embarrassing, stupid and awesome. Dot. Chapter 166 Dad's Power of Evolution Huh? What's going on? Father's thought energy seems to have become much stronger, and, is it my illusion? I always feel that Dad's physique has become a lot stronger. Just after arriving at the battlefield with Dad Silver and Grandpa Gino, Fisher found something wrong with Dad Silver's situation before he did a memory search on Menthuthuipi. Although I didn't use the Nian Chi detector to detect the strength of Dad Silver's Nian Chi, but at Fisher's level, he is already very sensitive to Nian Chi. Fisher could feel that the thought energy in Dad Silver was much stronger than before, a lot, and the explosive display energy was more than twice as strong as before. In addition, Moderately's physique seems to have become stronger. Also, did Grandpa master the human dragon form during the battle? Whether it's Dad or Grandpa, the strength has become so strong. The Zoldyk family finally has two more existences standing at the top of the human kingdom. Turning 320 to Grandpa Gino, he looked at Grandpa G who was in the form of a human dragon and had a head-on collision with Menthuthuipi. No, Fisher narrowed his eyes slightly, and raised the corners of his mouth slightly. When Grandfather Gino and Father Silver fought Neferpeta before, although the two could barely draw with Neferpeta, most of them did not dare to face Neferpeta head-on. But now, 
Grandpa Gino has dared to have a head-on collision with Menthuthiwipi, one of the same three guards, and so is Dad Silver. This situation has already shown that both Father Silver and Grandfather Gino are qualified to fight one-on-one -on -one with the three guards. In the previous Zoldik family, except for Fisher, there were very few great-grandfathers Maha who had this qualification. With this strength, now, there are two more Zoldik families. There are two more top human beings, the first echelon powerhouses of the human country. As the current head of the Zoldik family, how could Fisher be unhappy? Okay. Let's get down to business. Shaking his head, Fisher temporarily dissipated the joy in his heart, and his figure flashed past. Exclamation mark. Without any warning, Menthuthiwipi, whose expression was extremely excited, was pressed to the ground just as he punched Grandpa Jinuro head on. The powerful force spread on Menthuthiwipi's face and spread to the whole body, and then radiated directly to the earth. The earth exploded directly into a huge deep pit. Fisher, seeing the person who appeared suddenly, Gino and Silver stopped looking at the deep pit with some surprise. In the deep pit, Menthuthiwipi was in a daze at this moment, and the excitement just now was gone. The expression on his face seemed to say, Who I am? Where am I? What am I going to do? However, just as he was in a daze, a voice came into his ears. Yuppie, have you ever eaten a human? Humans? Yuppie, who was in a daze, followed up. Okay, I understand. As soon as this guy opened his mouth, Fisher got the information he wanted and directly left the deep pit and came to the broken earth. The power of evolution. Looking at Silver, Fisher walked over, put one hand on his father Silver's shoulder, and asked with some doubts. Ah, the power of evolution. Although it was strange that Fisher suddenly put his hands on his father's shoulders so casually, Silver still nodded expressionlessly and answered Fisher's question. Hey, so it's the power of evolution, it's really a good ability. When Fisher heard this, his face was stunned and surprised. Do you have the ability to search Pagnoten's memory? It's really convenient but don't use it on your family in the future, you know? Hearing Fisher's words, Silver immediately understood what this guy was doing, and immediately reprimanded him with a frown. As the former head of the Zoldik family, Silver is still very clear about the basic situation of the family members. He also knows the ability of Pagnoten and knows that Fisher can obtain an ability from the dependents when he takes them in. So after seeing Fisher's reaction, Silver immediately connected to this point. Well, don't worry, I won't use it casually. I am very concerned about the changes in you, Dad. But now that you are in battle again, you can only do something wrong," Fisher said with a smile. He really wants to know the changes in his father Silver now, but his father is fighting now, and it is impossible to waste time explaining to himself, so he uses the ability of memory search to obtain the information he wants. N. Silver nodded, then stopped talking, and walked towards the deep pit. Grandpa Gino nodded to Fisher without saying a word, and followed Silver down the deep pit with a changed body. The next moment, the fierce battle started again and three figures soared into the sky from the deep pit. Looking at the three figures rushing up to the sky, Fisher materialized the Nian Chi detector, and then detected the grandfather and further above. The change is really big. Looking at the value on the detector, Fisher shook his head, and returned to Nian Beast with a flicker. There is no battlefield here, you can flicker casually. Sitting cross-legged, Fisher put away the beast, and then looked at the battlefield on Shep's side. There is no need to pay attention to the battlefield on the side of Grandpa and Dad. The strength of the two of them has been greatly improved and they can already handle their own battlefield, and there will be no accidents. The only thing to pay attention to now is the situation here. However, Dad's power of evolution is really powerful. Fighting against a powerful enemy, you have the opportunity to steal the substances you need from the enemy to allow yourself to evolve. However, the fact that you need to be an enemy to be able to steal it is a flaw. Natural selection, survival of the fittest, competition between life, this is in line with the word evolution. Looking at the battlefield on Shep's side, Fisher thought silently. Fisher already understood the changes in his father. The evolutionary power obtained from the system before, as long as you fight against a powerful enemy, there is a great chance to obtain your own shortcomings from the enemy, and then steal it and integrate it into yourself, allowing yourself to adapt and evolve slowly. The stolen target will not become weaker because of being stolen. The stealing of the power of evolution is to secretly steal the substances in the target's body that are beneficial to the host, and then materialize them, integrate into themselves, adapt themselves and use the whole evolution. As for Dad Silver, when he fought Neferpeter before, the power of evolution obtained part of his physique from Neferpeter and integrated it into himself. During the battle with Menthuthiwipi, the 4.8 part of his physique fused into his body began to develop, and it became completely his own, so his physique improved so much all of a sudden. Even because of the improvement of physique, even the thought energy has skyrocketed a lot. Dad's Nianchi has reached the value of when his grandfather Jinuo came to NGL. 652,032. When Dad came to NGL before, his Nianchi cultivation base was only 430,000, and it suddenly increased by 200,000. Fisher was shocked by such a terrifying value. Moreover, because of the fact that he stole Neferpatu's physique, 
His physical strength is also the same as that of the Tyrannosaurus Rex, although it is not as good as Neferpet when the Ant King's personal guards, it is not much worse. This is how Dad Silver can head to head with Menthuthi would be reason. Next, if Dad can steal the beneficial substances from Neferpet to evolve himself as before, and steal the substances from Menthuthiwipi to evolve, then his strength will become stronger again. Dot. Chapter 167 Shizaku's Ability The system really gave me an incredible ability. I just don't know if there is an upper limit to this power of evolution. If there is no upper limit, it will be very scary. As long as Dad keeps looking for powerful enemies to fight against, steal his own shortcomings from these enemies, and then integrate and evolve, then it will be a way to reach the sky. It's even possible to become a god through this, without the help of my broken divinity. Fisher knew that besides the power of evolution, the changes in Dad also had a reason of grace. Fisher could feel that his father's favor had risen to one level, but it was impossible for such a big change to occur at just one level. Therefore, the bulk of this change is the power of evolution. From this point of view, among the reward abilities that the system gives to the members of the direct subordinate forces, the ones with the strongest potential are Dad and Mench. I Fisher muttered to himself. However, at this moment, Fisher noticed something and the smile on his face was even better. It seems that Shizaku's fruit-sucking potential is also very powerful. I didn't expect to be able to do this by sucking fruit. Just now, in the contact channel created by Fisher, Shizaku sent O9 a message. Fisher, I need the head of the division. My ability can absorb the mine energy in their bodies and turn it into my own news. After everyone defeats the head of the division, leave the head of the division to me. This is what Shizaku sent in the contact channel. With a flash, Fisher flashed directly in Shizaku's direction. And at this time, somewhere in the forest, Shizaku was pinning the Popeye to a headless division commander. Looking at the appearance of the head of the division, his complexion is grey, and it is impossible to tell which division head it is. Streams of Neon Chi were continuously sucked into the body by the Popeye fish from the corpse, and then submerged into Shizaku's body. Swish, there was a whistling sound, and Shizaku's gaze shifted away. Fisher, are you here? Shizaku kept moving still sucking energy from the division chief's body. What about your ability? Fisher nodded, then asked. This is the ability I developed by combining the characteristics of sucking fruit with my pop hide fish. I can absorb the mind energy of the dead enemy, and then transform it into my mind energy. However, a lot will be wasted during the conversion process, and I can probably obtain about one-fifth of the air conditioning. Ah, by the way, it must be an enemy I personally killed. It's a limitation. So, Fisher, hurry up and tell the others. Don't kill the enemies after defeating them. Leave it to me to kill them. Shizaku nodded, and then explained. Okay, I'll contact them right away. Fisher heard this and knew that this was very important to Shizaku, so he nodded in agreement, and then quickly connected. As for why this Shizaku guy doesn't contact other people himself. Without him, the contact channels created by Fisher are the same as those chat software in Fisher's previous life. Many people will directly block these chats because of the noise. Only unblocked people can receive other people's chat messages. But now, everyone is fighting so naturally they don't want to be disturbed by these chat messages, so they are all blocked. Only Fisher, who has nothing to do, does not have to worry about being disturbed at all, so he can receive the information from the merchant. Of course, only Fisher can ignore the blocking of these guys, send messages directly, and force them to receive the messages. No way, who told Fisher to be the group owner and administrator? The permission dog is so arrogant. In an instant, the other five people who were fighting received Fisher's order. Shizaku's ability. Interesting. I see, I'm not going to kill this guy. I see, Brother Fisher. Brother. Don't worry, I'll take this guy to Shizaku's place later. Brother Fisher, the battle is about to end on my side, and I will keep my hand. Several people responded to Fisher. Muchi and the others have replied that they understand, and they will bring the division leaders over later. After receiving replies from several people, Fisher said to Shizaku. Thank you. Fisher. Shizaku had already absorbed the Nian Chi from the enemy he had defeated, and thanked Fisher obediently. You're welcome, you are my companion now, it is very important to be able to improve your strength. I'm going to find Kate and Mola now. They also have five division heads, so we can't waste it, Fisher said with a gentle smile. I'm sorry to trouble you, Shizaku said with a faint smile. N. Fisher nodded, then soared into the sky, and began to look for the battle positions of Mola and the others. I should have engraved flashing marks on their bodies before I knew it. In the air. Fisher sensed the fighting breath in one direction, and carefully analyzed which breaths belonged to Molao and the others, while muttering. Apart from his own people, Fisher seldom engraved the imprint of magic and flicker on their bodies. This made Fisher waste a lot of time looking for Molao and the others. However, a lot of time was wasted. But Fisher successfully found the battlefield of Molao and others in a short period of time, and entrusted the matter to them. Although Molao and the others were very puzzled, they still agreed to Fisher's request, and promised not to kill the enemy after defeating the enemy but to bring the enemy to Fisher. On the contrary, Fisher encountered some accidents when he found the last one of Mola and his party. Because the last one is Pam. This guy actually fought with the head of the division by himself, 
more than Nakalu and Yichuo. Although Nakalu and Xuchuo joined the battle, at least they were together, while Pam was alone. The most important thing is that Nobu, the master, actually 650 agreed to Pam's willful behavior as a disciple, and only one person, Pang Mu was obviously not an opponent at the level of division head, and he was tortured to the point of needlessness. The guy was struggling when Fisher came over. No way, Fisher had no choice but to directly defeat Pang Mu's opponent, because it is obviously impossible for Pang Mu to defeat the division commander alone, and he will definitely lose if he continues, so Fisher directly knocked out and packed up, and then he was helpless look at Pam. Miss Nobu said I can ask you for help if I can't beat it. Faced with Fisher's helplessness, Pam said timidly, Nob, what does this guy want? Hearing Pam's answer, Fisher frowned. The teacher said, if I want to get close to you, I must create various opportunities to be alone. Pam didn't hide anything, and directly said what Nobu told him. On the face, two blushes rose on both sides of the cheeks, and the hands were constantly stirring each other, looking like a shy little girl. Good guy. Now Fisher can see what Pam is thinking even if he is stupid. This guy has taken a fancy to himself. This made Fisher really shocked. After all, although I have grown up very fast, I am only 14 years old, so you just stared at me? Oh, you said she was after the 13-year-old gun in the original book? That's okay. However, is Enhancer's view of love so straightforward? Chapter 168 The Rise of Shizaku Ignoring Pam's straightforward feelings, Fisher went directly to Shizaku with his booty, and handed over the division commander who was knocked out by him to Shizaku. Shizaku easily wiped out the head of the division and absorbed the mind energy in his body. 322,563 I remember that Yoni and Chi was only about 230,000 before. Seeing Shizaku's body's potential energy after absorbing the two division heads, Fisher asked aloud. No, it should be 240,000. Shizaku pointed to his chin with one hand, rolled his eyes and thought for a few seconds, and then replied. 240,000, so to speak. You can get 40,000 air conditioning points by killing and absorbing a division commander. There are still 9 division heads left, just take this as an example, you can still absorb 360,000 thoughts. Hey, if dad wasn't here, you would be the biggest winner this time. After doing some calculations, even Fisher gasped. Raising 440,000 thoughts in one day, even Fisher dared not think about it. If it weren't for the powerful evolutionary power of dad, not only would he have raised more than 200,000 thoughts but he would also have strengthened his physique to the point where he could fight against the three guards. Moreover, dad might continue to fight against the three guards. Ascension, then this time Shizaku is the one that has gained the most. Well, according to the average, it should be like this. However, the strength of these division heads varies, and it is estimated that there are not so many. Shizaku nodded and echoed lightly. You're really calm. Seeing Shizaku's expressionless face and looking at the book without looking up, Fisher sighed slightly. That is to say, Shizaku is such a personality. If it were someone else, no matter how calm he was, he would have to jump up and down at this time. How could he be able to read a book so calmly? Shizaku, after you absorb the mind energy of the remaining Chimera and Masters, you go with Mencha and the others to deal with ship. Looking at the indifferent Shizaku, Fisher thought for a moment, and then suggested. No, although the potential energy has increased, my manifest energy has not increased much. There is a big gap in dealing with that monster. Hearing Fisher's proposal. Shizaku finally raised his head and looked at Shep and Karapika in the distance the battlefield who waited for others shook his head and rejected the proposal. She has this idea. After all, with grace, her strength can definitely continue to improve in a battle of this level. However, she has a very clear understanding of her situation. Shizaku knew that he still couldn't participate in a battle of this level, because his display capacity was not enough to support a battle of this level. If she wants to participate in a battle of this level, she needs to increase her display capacity. That's it, then forget it. Hearing this, Fisher was not surprised. He can detect Shizaku's potential energy, but he cannot detect the upper limit of Shizaku's manifest energy before Shizaku explodes. If Shizaku's manifest energy has also increased, then Shizaku is naturally eligible to join Kropika's battle after absorbing the mine energy of several other division leaders. But now that Shizaku admits that his display capacity is not enough, then it can only be forgotten. Don't look at the increase in your potential energy. But if your manifest energy has not increased, then no matter how much potential energy you have, it will not have much effect. Because the strength of your appearance determines your attack and defense. If you show a strong aura, your attack power will be stronger, and if you show a weak aura, then your attack will be weak and your defense will be very weak. When encountering a powerful enemy, if you don't have enough defense to show your strength, the enemy's attack can directly ignore your defense and directly attack your body, causing you to be directly injured, very passive, and dangerous. Regardless of the fact that Kiliuan can participated in the battle between Kuropika, Kate and Neferpita before, it was because their physiques were already strong enough to withstand Neferpitu's attack after being broken by Neferpitu after showing insufficient strength and defense. After all, 
the physiques of both of them are changing in the direction of dragons. A magic crystal with a thunder dragon slayer gradually transformed his body, becoming stronger and stronger, transforming into a dragon's physique. The other is to have the body of a dragon directly and develop it directly. The physique of both of them is getting stronger with time, much faster than their own exercise. Moreover, the bulk of Neferpatu's attack was not on the two of them. Before, among human beings, except for Fisher, no one was able to improve their physique faster than the two of them, even Grandpa Gino. The speed of improvement is basically the same as the two of them. It's just that Grandpa started higher than them in this aspect, so in the same development time, his physique is stronger than the two of them. Now there is one more father. Silver, the horror of the power of evolution directly makes Father Silver's strength jump and skyrocket. And his physique has also become extremely powerful. Shizaku didn't have such a strong physique, and he resisted the attack of the three guards when he showed insufficient strength and defense. Hearing Fisher's words, Shizaku nodded, looked away again, and continued to read the book. Time passed quietly in ten blinks of an eye and half an hour passed. At this time, Fisher has gathered a lot of people. Everyone who dealt with the head of the division has returned. Among the division heads, except for Peggy who stayed in the ant nest to serve the Chimera Ant Queen and did not come out, and the two division heads killed by Shizaku, the other division heads were also defeated by everyone and brought here. It has to be said that the strength of Molawu and Nobu is quite good. Nobu, who was not mentally broken, and Molau, who was not tired, each defeated the division commander. There was almost no injury on their bodies and they just wasted some time. And Nakalu and Xuchua jointly defeated a division commander without being injured. Needless to say, Kate, this guy, Kate, is really inferior to be used to fight the head of the division. The battlefield this guy should join is the Ant King's guard's side. However, in order to improve the strength of his subordinates, Fisher had no choice but to arrange this way. As for Machi and the others, apart from Pak Noten, who is not very good at fighting, who suffered some injuries, Kilyu and the others are all fine. Apostrophe vertical bar Fisher, you told us not to kill these guys, what are you planning to do by bringing them here? Looking at the many division heads who were restrained by Fisher's lightning and unable to move, only unable to move, Mo Lau asked curiously Rode. Please, you'll find out later, Fisher said with a smile, then looked at Shizaku. Machi and other people who knew the inside story also looked over. Seeing this, Mo Lau and the others also looked at Shizaku with doubts. I saw Shizaku standing at the head of division heads lying in rows at this time, holding the Popeye fish high in his hand expressionless. Wait, what are you trying to do? Let me go. Seeing Shizaku's posture, many division leaders knew that something was wrong. Haga and Shaken were struggling continuously, roaring loudly. However, Shizaku didn't ignore it, and the Popeye fish in his hand was like a sickle, and it directly scratched the necks of many division leaders. Exclamation mark. Disgusting purple blood splattered everywhere. Shizaku quickly pointed the Popeye fish at the heads of many divisions, and the horsepower was fully activated, and the continuous flow of thoughts was sucked in. The Nianki on Shizaku's body is also constantly rising. When Mo Lau and the others saw this scene, their pupils shrank suddenly, and their hearts were shocked. Dot, chapter 169 Shizaku's Nianki Value 703,561 700,000 Nianki, your Nianki strength can be ranked third in Zoldik. Looking at the Nianki intensity detected on Shizaku's body detected by the mobile phone, Fisher's mouth curled up. Nianchi is already so powerful as long as the younger brother works hard to improve the displayed energy and become more proficient in various and skills, then Shizaku's combat power will be officially raised. Become the fifth in the Zoldik family, of course, except for Aluka, Bug can't be counted. Moreover, Shizaku has the ability to absorb the energy of looting dead enemies, so as long as there are enemies, Shizaku can always improve. Kilyu and the others all leaned over when they heard the words, looked at the value on the detection phone in Fisher's hand, and then took a deep breath. This promotion is too terrifying. Even Mola was the same. After hearing the value Fisher said, he was very shocked. Mola and Nakalu will not talk about it. They all know what the mind energy materialization item in Fisher's hands is, and Ksuto, Nobu and Pam also heard that Fisher owes Nakalu a favor at the time. I asked about the reason for Nakulin, and I also knew the situation of the detection mobile phone in Fisher's hand. I knew that the N developed by Fisher was created according to Nakalu's 580 detection criteria and I also roughly understood what the Nchi value is. Now hearing that Shizaku has such a huge mind energy, several people looked at Shizaku more like a monster. Fisher, have you tested the strength of the old man's thoughts? After taking a deep breath, Mo Lau asked Fisher. He knew the level of his own energy, because he had tested it with his apprentice, and his energy was only about a few hundred thousand, so he was shocked that Shizaku had such a huge value of energy. Now, he wants to know how strong his teacher's Nianchi is. As soon as these words came out, Everyone's eyes fell on Fisher. Obviously, everyone present wanted to know the strength of the mind energy of Nitero, the president of the Hunter Association, one of the world's top five and people. Nitero? 
His neon key strength is 820,000. Hearing Molu's question, Fisher searched the investigation records, and then said, Hearing this, everyone was shocked, and then their eyes shifted to Shizuku again. In other words, the neon key on this guy, Shizuku, is about to catch up with the old man. The president of the Hunter Association. Everyone thought in shock. After taking a few glances at everyone in Fisher, Mo Lao Wu had an idea in his heart. Absolutely, absolutely not against the Zoldyk family. This idea also popped up in the hearts of Nobu and others. Because Fisher is surrounded by N masters, none of them are weak. If they really provoke the Zoldyk family, Michi, Kiliu and others can chop them up and feed them to the dogs without Fisher and Shizuku's actions. Okay, let's not talk about this, Mo Lao Wu. What are you going to do next? The head of the division is gone. And you, the personal guards, have no right to intervene. Now only the captain of the army and the Chimericant soldiers need you to clean up, but they are all in the ant nest now, and you seem to have nothing to do. Naturally, Fisher didn't know what Mo Lao and the others were thinking, and Fisher was more concerned at this time. Curious about what Mo Lao Wu and the others will do next. Can't you do nothing? Hearing Fisher's words, Mo Lao came back to his senses, sat down on the ground, put his hands behind his back, exhaled heavily, and said in a relaxed tone, Ah, indeed. It can be so easy. This hunting is the easiest one. Nobu also came back to his senses, leaning on the rock, and said lightly. It's true. Fisher agrees with the two of them. Indeed. If it wasn't for improving strength, it would be best to do this kind of thing as easily as possible. Who likes to complicate things? For example, Fisher turned the table directly this time, directly forcing the three guards to sign a contract with him and forcing them to fight with him. Is this bad? That's great. You don't have to think about some complicated schemes, Ajk. Of course. If you want to do this kind of thing, your fist must be hard first. Otherwise, let alone forcing the three guards to make a compromise, Tanling Gay I is definitely cool. Fisher, let's leave for a while and come back later. At this moment, Machi suddenly said, said to Fisher. Oh, okay, go and update. Fisher looked over after hearing this, and saw Michi, Shizaku, and Paknoten standing together. Fisher immediately knew what the three wanted to do, and nodded. However, immediately, Fisher thought of something, and hurriedly said again, Pike, come here. Let me heal you. I almost saw that Pagnoten was the only one who was seriously injured among all the people. When Pagnoten heard this, he nodded and walked over. Because the wound was related to the abdomen, and because Fisher was sitting on Pagnoten, he squatted down. Fisher stretched out his hand and pressed Paikenoten's abdomen, then activated life, and began to heal Paikenoten. In less than two seconds, Pagnoten's injuries recovered. Thank you, Master Fisher. Pagnoten thanked. Just call me Fisher. Okay. Let's find a place to renew in Huai, Fisher said with a smile. Paknoten smiled slightly, stood up and walked towards Michi. The three looked at each other, then got up and left. The three of Kilua didn't pay much attention to it, they just dragged down their respective vests and started the second favor update after coming to NGL. Ah, this guy Kaluto found a rock to cover up. This guy was really raised by his mother as a girl. Dot. Standing up, Fisher patted the dust off his buttocks, looked towards the battlefield where Kripika was, and murmured in a low voice, sad. I have to do it too. Let Kripiku and the others come back and update. Recover your strength by the way. Although Kripiku and the others can deal with Shef, their endurance is still too weak, and they are completely incomparable with the Admiral. But it's no wonder that their strength has not yet reached the level of Admirals, and it is normal to have weak battery life. What? You're going to do something? Seeing Fisher standing up and muttering something he didn't understand, Mole Awu asked in confusion. Well, I came here to fight, and now Kripika's breath has weakened a lot. Probably because I'm tired. I'll go and help them. Fisher smiled and explained. Indeed, the aura of your companions has indeed weakened a lot. You should hurry over. Otherwise, be careful of accidents. When Fisher said this, Mo Lao Wu also noticed this, and couldn't help but nodded in agreement. Ah, I'll be leaving first. Fisher nodded lightly, and then rushed out instantly with a step forward and a flash of figure. Boom. Dot. Chapter 170 Shep standing and talking without back pain. The commander of the division has been wiped out. Now there are only three of us who can be regarded as combat power. Besides, the three of us have been restrained, and there is no one to guard the ant nest. Fortunately, we signed a contract with them, otherwise the king's side will be affected. I just don't know how long the three of us can support. No, you can't look at it that way. That guy is too dangerous, it will pose a danger to the king, and must be eliminated. The black streamers kept colliding on the battlefield, and Shep drew with the four of Karapika by himself, even gaining the upper hand. However, in this situation, Shep was not happy at all, because he has been pressing a heavy boulder in his heart. That is Fisher. Among the enemies he faced this time, he only felt an extremely strong crisis from Fisher, and among the others, only the old man gave him a different feeling. Although the old man felt a little strange, it didn't make him feel too much crisis. Even he could handle it with his conceit. But, Fisher, 
The sense of crisis in Fisher made him very uneasy. He could feel that the existence of Fisher was a great threat to their soon-to-be-born king, and he had to get rid of it. Thinking of this, Shep in battle sent telepathy directly to Neferpitu and Manthuthuipi. Bido, Yupi, you must get rid of your opponent as soon as possible, and I will do my best to get rid of my opponent. That white-haired guy is too dangerous. My judgment is that he will pose a danger to the king and must be eliminated. But Neferpitu and Manthuthuipi, who were dealing with their respective opponents, were taken aback when they heard Shep's message, and each was hit by their opponent and flew out. It's true what you said. That guy is very strong. He just pushed me to the ground without me responding. In the telepathy channel, Manthuthuipi agreed. Just now when Fisher came over and rubbed him on the ground with a blow, he didn't react at all. He was dazed for a long time. Being able to make oneself have no reaction at all and be attacked without warning, the strength should not be underestimated. Indeed, I fought with that guy once, and that guy is very powerful and I also think that guy will pose a threat to the king. However, we have signed a contract now, and we must fight his subordinates. Unless we defeat his subordinates, then we will have a chance to attack him. Neferpeta also temporarily stopped the impact on Nitero, and turned around Nitero, looking for flaws, and at the same time replied telepathically. I know, that's why you need to eliminate your opponent as soon as possible. At that time, the three of us will work together to deal with that guy and kill this existence that threatens the king before the king is born. Shep responded, to put it simply, these two guys on my side are not weaker than me at all. Even if the two of them join forces, I would have been seriously injured. Facing Shep's attitude of standing and talking without back pain, Manthuthuipi just wanted to complain. Both Silver and Gino have very strong physical strength, and their mind attacks are also very powerful. What makes Yupi even more troublesome is that the two have rich combat experience and have some unpredictable methods assassination techniques. This keeps him passive. How about, Pufu, can you exchange opponents with me? Neferpatu was even simpler, and directly sent an invitation to Shep to exchange players. His tone of telepathy also contained resentment. Neferpatu really doesn't want to fight Nitero. This guy is a bug according to human beings. He can't fight at all. He can only waste time. However, the key is that I can't afford it at all. Shep said so easily. Let him come and fight. What the two said directly made Shep dumbfounded. What's the meaning? Is the opponent difficult? Can't it? Shep looked suspiciously at Crook and Gyla who were easily repelled by him. That's right. They are very weak. If it weren't for the four of them taking turns and cooperating skillfully, I would have dealt with them long ago. Even so, after another hour or two, I will be able to get rid of them. As soon as Shep's thoughts came here, a terrifying force came from his waist, and his whole body flew out like a bullet out of the chamber, directly smashing into the ground. Fisher. Why are you here? After playing for so long, Crook was still in good spirits, and he couldn't see any sign of exhaustion at all. On the other hand, the others were all showing signs of fatigue. But, yes, this guy is now a fairy body, and has developed to a certain extent. Even the fairy chakra has been created, his physical strength is good, and he can fight for a few more hours. Even day and night will not be tired. Go and have a rest. You're fine, they're not like you. Fisher glanced at the three mench I who had gathered and said, Ah, that's right. The three of them will indeed be tired from this kind of high-intensity battle. Hearing this, Crook also reacted, and said with his hands on his hips, Your fairy body is really good. Gay Ilu smiled enviously. That's right. Mencha agreed unceasingly, his little head lighting up like a chicken. Then, Fisher, I'll leave this place to you. Kuripaka, who was panting heavily, said to Fisher out of breath. Yeah, you guys go to rest and renew a hue I by the way. I'll play with this guy. Fisher nodded gently, and then instructed. Then I'll leave it to you. Several people did not refuse and left here after saying hello. At this time, Shep also flew out of the portal. Zero. However, at this time Shep is no longer as gentlemanly and elegant as before, covered in dust, bleeding from the corner of his mouth, and looks messed up. I didn't expect you to take the initiative. Flying to Fisher's side, Shep said indifferently with a gloomy expression. In the contract signed with Fisher, Fisher and the others will not enter the ant nest until the ant king is born, and the three of them and many division heads must fight Fisher and others and Shep perceived Fisher's general idea from Fisher's aura, that is, to regard them as the whetstones of his subordinates. So he was not very vigilant against Fisher, and always thought that Fisher would not end easily. Unexpectedly, just a few hours later, Fisher shot directly. However, this kind of thing is understandable. This may be the thinking of human beings, the thinking that will not let their companions die easily. It's boring. Shep thought indifferently. Well, let them go to rest, and now I will fight with you, Fisher said with a smile. After fighting with this guy, the next one is Manthuthuipi, and the last one is Maruim, the Ant King. As for Neferpatu, this guy has already played against Fisher before, just pass it. Fighting against the three guards, increasing the value of favor to the limit of the current level, and then defeating, or even killing the Ant King, to obtain enough great achievements to upgrade grace. This is the plan Fisher set for himself.
Silently staring at Fisher, Shep turned into a streamer of light and attacked Fisher without saying a word. Dot. Chapter 171 Neferpetu, the cunning human. The strong sense of crisis brought by the enemy in front of him convinced Shep of his previous guess, which made Shep's attack stronger and more terrifying. Neferpetu and Menfuthiwipi couldn't come, but even if he was the only one, he still had to act. Even if Fisher cannot be eliminated, at least Fisher must be severely injured, even if he is dead. Conditions must be created for Neferpetu and Menthuthuipi to kill Fisher, so as to drive forward for the king and remove obstacles in the way of the king. This idea also made Shef change his fighting style when fighting Kripiku and others before, and directly became desperate. If Shef used to fight against Fisher with Neferpetu and Menthuthuipi to save his energy before, then now he has the attitude of killing 800 enemies and harming himself 1000, and doesn't care about his own life or death at all. What is this guy going to do? Looking at Xioyap's 180 husband's crazy posture, Shell frowned. Fisher really didn't expect that Shep would use this fighting method to fight himself. Doesn't this guy want to wait for the birth of the king he guards? No, no, with this guy's degree of loyalty, maybe it is really possible to do so. Each of the Ant King's three guards is loyal to the king. Once encountering an existence that poses a threat to the king, they will use all means to clear up this obstacle for the king. In the original book, Shep felt that the existence of the king of military ceremonies, may I may I, had affected Wang's character and led him to an unknown future, so he always wanted to kill may I. Let the ant king return to the right path he thinks. And Menthuthuipi, who was just influenced by Nakalu and others, became more human, and let Nakalu and others go. But at the moment when he saw the ant king was seriously injured by the poor man's rose and almost died, his newly born humanity disappeared completely and he threatened to kill all the intruders, and never up to witness Gun's change, determined that Gun could threaten the king's life, and desperately wanted to kill Gun. Even if he died, that strong obsession broke out into a powerful posthumous thought, and Hizimai thought manipulating his own corpse removed one of Gun's arms after forced growth. My current situation is the same as Gun's, and the three guards can all feel my situation, especially this guy Shep, now he can feel his own strength when fighting him head on and his degree of loyalty to Anchu is even more honorable. You allows him to make the judgment and actions of Neferpid in the original book. This situation suits me, let's make your attack more violent. The more terrifying the battle, the more my favor value will increase, and the stronger my strength will be after the update. Dodging an attack from Shep, the corner of Fisher's mouth raised, revealing an excited smile. Shep, take back all your clones and try your best to please me. Standing in midair, Fisher looked at Shep, who turned around and grinned. Needless to say, I will do it too. Shep's expression was still gloomy, and after he got up again, a black torrent rushed over quickly and quickly sank into his back. After the black torrent completely submerged into his body, the chi on Shep's body increased significantly. Sarah, let's continue, said indifferently. Shep's eyes completely turned scarlet, and his face became ferocious. With the slight flapping of the wings on the back, the whole person appeared in front of Fisher across a distance of tens of meters, and that white palm turned into sharp claws poking towards Fisher's face. Die. Guys who pose a threat to the king shouldn't exist. Shep snarled loudly. Fisher also showed his face, and with a slight flick of his head, he dodged the blow in an instant, and then punched Shep in the abdomen. The next moment, a cloud of sonic's boom vibrated, and Shep blasted back at a faster speed. Taking advantage of your illness killing you, Fisher stepped into the void, turned into lightning and rushed out. Boom. The fierce battle is just unfolding. But at this time, on the other side, in the battlefield between Nitero and Neferpetu, Nitero, who had been fighting for several hours, no longer wanted to continue fighting. Because he was finished warming up, he is going to recharge his batteries and wait for the birth of the Ant King, and then he will discuss with the Ant King. If he continues to play, he will be able to maintain his peak state at this age. It must be very passive to fight against the King of Ants like that. What do you mean? Neferpetu asked with a frown as he wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth. As he watched Nitero put away the hundred Shiki Avalakite Zvara and fell to the ground. No more fights, no more fights, I'm going back zero Nitero activists shoulders, hands and feet, answered in a tone of beating. Workers, sure enough, upon hearing Nitero's words. Neferpetu's face darkened immediately. I have been beaten for several hours, but I haven't found the floor of the sky, and this guy actually said that he won't beat him. Don't have that expression, I'll ask Fisher to change his subordinates to fight you. Nitero said with the same expression that he didn't want to be beaten. The blood in the veins in his hand was flowing rapidly, and Neferpetu's heart was extremely violent. I really want to tear this old guy up, but I can't get close to this guy. Teeth itching in his heart, Neferpetu forced himself to calm down stood up expressionlessly, then turned around and left. Since this guy says he won't fight anymore, he can also leave here without worrying about violating the contract. After all, it was the guy who proposed it himself. Hey, where are you going? Nitero yelled when he saw Neferpetu was leaving. 
didn't you stop fighting? Then it doesn't make sense for me to stay here. Neferpita turned around and said, I don't fight because I don't fight, but I didn't say that no one on our side will fight with you. It's half time now, someone will replace the old man later. How about you just stay here for a while? This was a rule that was added when signing the contract. Nitero said with a smirk, looking like an old urchin. 4.5 Hearing this, Neferpita couldn't help recalling the content of the contract at that time, and found that it really existed, which immediately made Hufi Pitui even more irritable. She didn't understand the meaning of intermission at all. You humans are really cunning. Neferpita took a deep breath, and then said with a grim expression. Thanks for the compliment but there's nothing you can do about it. That kid from Fisher is here for military training, and his group of men can't compare with you monsters in terms of physical strength or strength. Naturally, they need a little guarantee. This intermission is the guarantee, Nitero said cheekily after hearing this. Wait, I'll call Fisher right away and ask him to arrange someone else to call you. Nitero took out a phone from his kimono and dialed it. Neferpatu, cunning humans, chapter 172, began to subdue, face blackened. Your majesty, how long will the king be born? When Nitero called Fisher, Neferpta was not idle, using telepathy to inquire about the situation of the Chimera Ant Queen. Not yet, the birth of the king will take two days, the three of you must work hard to survive. You are the king's guards, and the duty of guarding after the king's birth is everything to you, understand? Chimera Ant Queen responded. Yes, your majesty understands, your majesty. Neferpta responded. At this time, Nitero also hung up the phone. I'm sorry, Fisher's men just finished fighting, and Fisher went to fight with your companion again, so I can't come here so I can only let you stay here with the old man. After hanging up the phone, Nitero said Neferpeta said lightly. That's right, I got it. Regarding this answer, Neferpeta changed from his impatience before, and looked very calm, and sat down at a random place. With this old man watching, I can't leave here. What Shep said and the power of the three of us to kill that white-haired guy nine is also impossible. So, for now, I'll follow Her Majesty's order to recharge my batteries and let myself live until the king's arrival. After the king is born, Return to the king's side. Sitting under the big tree, Neferpeta looked at the distant sky, thinking calmly. Seeing that Neferpeta was so peaceful, Nitero didn't say anything, and found a place to recover his energy. However, during the break, Nitero still kept an eye on Neferpeta's situation. Fisher asked him to keep an eye on Neferpeta, waiting for Kripiko and the others to come this way. As for how long it took, I don't know, because Kripiko and the others just fought Shep and they haven't recovered yet. They will come over here when they recover. I just watch out for Neferpitu anyway, and don't let her get out of here and kill. Time passed quietly, and the roar of battles around the entire ant nest continued. Soon, more than three hours passed. The sky was full of sunset, and the sun was setting. Under the big tree, Neferpitu, who was sitting cross-legged and resting, moved his white ears slightly, then suddenly raised his head, stood up and looked into the distance. Not far away, Nitero also opened his eyes. Both of them looked in the same direction. Just now, Neferpit when Nitero both sensed that Shepf's aura languished in an instant. In this case, it wasn't that Shepf restrained his breath on purpose, or that Shepf lost, was seriously injured, and his breath was unstable. Puff, what happened to you over there? Neferpit wrote Shepf frantically on the telepathy channel. However, no matter how Neferpit called, there was no answer. This immediately made Neferpitu's heart sink. She knew that something had happened to Zyapf. At this time, Neferpit noticed something again and looked in another direction. I saw that there was a group of four people walking towards that direction at this time, and it was the four of Crook. Hey, old man, we're here to take over. Crook waved at Nitero carelessly. Master President, leave the rest to us. Gailu also said. I'm sorry, President Nitero. Menchai also greeted with a smile. Then we will fight this guy, please, President Nitero. Gripika also said politely. Will my next battle opponent be them? The breath is much stronger than before. What happened? Can human beings improve their strength so quickly? Neferpita put the matter of shape aside temporarily, and paid attention to the four of Crook, thinking silently in his heart. No way, after all. The contract was signed, and she had to fight the four of them. And through her powerful senses, she could feel that the spirits of Karipiko and the others had become stronger than before. Is it promoted in battle? If so, these guys are a little scary. Thinking of this, Neferpita's eyes became serious. If human beings can continuously improve their strength through fighting, and it is such a significant improvement, then it will be very bad for them. The cultivation of Nianchi is cyclical and gradual, climbing up one step at a time, not at all like Gripiko and the others, taking several steps and several steps. Sard, let's start. After greeting Nitero, several people came to Neferpitu. Crook grinned, fisted with both hands, and said loudly. The next moment, Crook was the first to attack! Exclamation mark. Crook's strange force was directly blocked by Neferpitu, and he didn't take a step back. As expected of the Ant King's personal guard, whether it's the guy just now or you, they can easily take over my old lady's strange power. Seeing that his attack was blocked, 
Crook said excitedly. However, Neferpeter didn't pay attention to Crook's words at all, because the attacks of Menchayat al also came one after another at this time. A fierce battle unfolded in an instant. Three hours passed. The violent roar spread in this area again, but Nitero had retreated far away at this time, and found a place to observe the battle. On the other side, Fisher's side. At this point the battle between Fisher and Sheepf is over. It has to be said that Sheepf, who desperately killed 800 enemies and lost 1000, still caused a lot of injuries to Fisher who did not use the power of the thunder fruit. You can tell by the bruises on Fisher's face and body. Correspondingly, Sheepf was directly beaten to death by Fisher. At this time, Fisher used the power of thunder to tie him up, making him completely immobile. Of course, even if he wanted to move, Sheepf couldn't do it right now because this guy was already in a severe coma, almost a vegetable. Ignoring Sheep, Fisher healed himself first. Life, healing was activated, covering the whole body. The bruises on Fisher's body were visible to the naked eye, and all the injuries on the body also recovered quickly. After getting himself back into top form, Fisher turned his attention to Sheep. My current twisting power is only 150. I don't know how many twisting powers I need to turn this guy's mind around with my black face and let him become my subordinate, or maybe I haven't been able to subdue this guy after using up all of them. However, my face should not have the level of gangsters. Fisher thought a little unconfidently. Immediately, Shell began to use his stored twisting power on ship. One after another, one after another, Fisher's face gradually turned from white to black. Dot. Chapter 173 I don't want this guy anymore. Shizuka lies down and wins. That guy Pufu. What happened? Menthuthiwipi thought calmly as he was bombarded by a violent shockwave of Nianchi in his hand. Like Neferpatu, Menthuthiwipi, who had learned telepathy, contacted Shepf after Shepf's breath weakened, but unfortunately there was no response at all. Well, I'd better deal with this guy in front of me first. Without thinking too much, Menthuthiwipi's A's had already landed in front of him. In front of Menthuthiwipi, there is only one person. No, there is only one dragon, a blue dragon, which was transformed by Fisher's grandfather Gino. In the battle with Menthuthiwipi, Geno's green dragon fruit developed a beast and turned into a blue dragon. Genuo, who has become a blue dragon, has improved in all aspects of his physique, and he can already solo with Menthuthiwipi. Same with Silver. As for Silver, at this time he was watching quietly outside the battlefield. If Fisher were here, he would definitely be able to notice that the Nianchi on Silver's body was slowly getting stronger, and, besides this, Silver's physique was also slowly getting stronger. You don't need to guess. Silver's power of evolution has been affected on Menthuthiwipi, and the benefits that allow his body to evolve have been stolen from Menthuthiwipi, and he is now evolving. However, Jinuo also has such a big change, I guess Shell will be very surprised when he sees it. After all, it has only been half a year at most for Grandpa Jinuo to obtain the devil fruit in the form of fish fruit and blue dragon. Half a year has actually developed to this point. Moreover, seeing how he collided with Menthuthiwipi without losing the wind, he not only developed the form of King Long, but also his strength. It can only be said that combat is the best motivator, which can develop people's various potentials and abilities at the fastest speed. I wanted to fight the last Ant King's personal guard, but I've already been defeated by Fisher, so forget it. However, I didn't expect Fisher to be so powerful, to defeat that monster so quickly, and to injure it to such a degree. At this time, Silver stood outside the battlefield with his arms crossed, not looking at the battlefield, but looking at where Fisher is, he muttered to himself. After getting what she wanted from Menthuthiwipi, Silver was going to find Sheepf, but at that time, Fisher had already found Sheepf, so Silver didn't go there. Unexpectedly, it didn't take long for Sheepf to be defeated by Fisher. Looking at his weakness, which was so weak that he could hardly feel it, it was estimated that the injury was very serious, and he could no longer be his opponent. Silver really didn't expect Fisher's strength to be so terrifying. If it were him, even if this evolution is completed, he can't guarantee that he can perfectly defeat one of the three guards of the Ant King, and at most he can be tied. But Fisher did it and in such a short time, the generation of Zoldyk really gave birth to powerful monsters. Silver once again said the words that have always existed in his heart. Not to mention Silver's side, Fisher's complexion at this time was so dark that it couldn't be darker. Because of the 150 twistant forces, Fisher has used 70 of them, but he just couldn't turn Sheepf's heart around. Stop choosing the twisting force, Fisher closed his eyes, and took a deep breath. Then, a black and purple thunderbolt fell from the sky and was about to strike Sheepf's head. However, at the moment when the black purple lightning was about to strike, the lightning suddenly disappeared. I don't want this guy anymore, let Shizuka kill him. Clapping his hands, Fisher turned away sullenly. Speaking of which, Shep wasn't the guy Fisher was looking for, because this guy's mood is too unstable. This is shown in the original. Although he is extremely loyal to the Ant King, he likes to speculate on the Ant King's thoughts, and he will do things that he should not do as his subordinates. 
just like the deliberate attempt to kill Wheat in the original book. This kind of guy is accepted as a member of the faction, and it is easy to cause accidents. Even with the shackles of grace, it is estimated that it will be heavy, because in his heart, what he did was beneficial to the master and was right. But in fact, this situation has already been surpassed. Fisher wanted to take this guy under his command because he thought it would be a waste to kill such a powerful man. But now, it is so difficult for this guy to reverse his mind, and he has not yet reversed his mind after wasting so much twisting power, so it is better to let Shizaku kill him, absorb the mind energy, and cultivate Shizaku. With Shizaku's current level, if he kills this guy and absorbs his mind energy, and then practice for a while to increase his display energy, Shizaku may not be much weaker than this guy. Doing what he thought, Fisher directly sent the bodies of himself and Shep to Shizaku and others. The appearance of Fisher startled everyone, but recovered quickly. Immediately, all eyes fell on the unconscious Shep. Just now I felt this guy's aura, and he was so weak, he was really defeated by you. Mo Lao Wu looked at the seriously injured Shep and said with a smile on his face. Vertical bar. Fisher nodded, and then used the healing cold ability, life. What are you? Everyone present was stunned not knowing why Fisher was treating the enemy. But Fisher ignored it and cured Shepf directly. Shepf opened his eyes slowly. You bastard. After waking up, Shepf saw Fisher for the first time, and immediately became excited. However, no matter how excited he was, this guy could only move his face. The other parts of his body were affected by Fisher's thunderous power, paralyzed. He couldn't even drive his mind energy, and he couldn't use his state ability. Okay, this guy's Nianchi has recovered a lot. Shizaku, use your most powerful attack to kill this guy. Fisher stood up, clapped his hands, and ordered to Shizaku. The treatment of Shayep this time is different from the previous treatment of Ahsoka in the Sky Arena. This time Fisher's, life, treatment of N has been brought to the limit. So Shayep consumed half of his Nian Chi and recovered a lot, and it has recovered to the left, Wang Zhao, and right of the 8th floor. Shayep's Nian Chi is in the early part of 1 million and the 8th level is 800,000. According to the situation that Shizaku can absorb one-fifth of it, Shizaku killed Shep and can absorb at least 160,000 Nian Chi. After hearing Fisher's words, everyone suddenly realized why Fisher brought Shep here on purpose and gave him tons of treatment. For a moment, everyone who knew Shizaku looked at Shizaku with envy. Lie down and win, really lie down and win. They want such a good thing too. Thank you, Fisher. Shizaku thanked blankly and then materialized as a Popeye fish and raised it high towards Shep. You bastard. Even Shep, faced with such a dying scene, his eyes were tearing apart, and he roared out. However, Shizaku didn't pay attention to it at all, and the Popeye fish in his hand gathered its maximum display power and directly smashed it down. Exclamation mark dot. Chapter 174, Pam's Request. Seeing Shep who was whipped several times on the ground but still not dead, but his legs and feet were twitching constantly, everyone showed sympathy. There is no way, Shep of the guards is too strong, even though he is forced into a state of extreme by Fisher, his body is not encased in thoughts, but he is still very strong. Shizaku's appearance was too small, and he knocked Shep's head several times with all his strength, but he was severely injured and fell into a coma. But now, the twitching of hands and feet is the instinctive reaction of his body. Why are you looking at me? Keep knocking on me. Seeing Shizaku, who knocked several times without killing Shep, looking at himself. Fisher raised his eyebrows and urged. Anyway, Shep was forcibly suppressed by himself using thunder and lightning, and entered a state of extremes. In this case, no matter how strong Shep's physique is, as long as he continues to knock, he can smash his brain. Speaking of this, I have to talk about Fisher's hand. Knowing that there is an ability in this world that can force people to enter the state of absolute, how could Fisher miss it? Naturally, this ability has been developed. The lightning in Shep's body that suppresses his mind energy and silences his mind energy was developed by Fisher. Fisher is using 583 for the first time since it was developed, and Shep is the first customer, unlucky. Oh, oh, Shizaku nodded blankly, then continued to concentrate his thoughts and knocked on Shep's forehead. Boom, boom, boom. With a fifth muffled sound, Shep's head exploded like a watermelon. Shep, the Ant King's personal guard, finally passed away after a brutal ravage laughs. After seeing that Shep finally died, everyone couldn't help feeling that this guy was finally free. Just now they couldn't stand it anymore. After all, they really don't agree with this kind of tormenting thing. If they want to kill, they just kill them. Why torture the enemy? But they also knew that there was no other way. Shizaku had already tried his best to kill Shep with one blow, but he couldn't kill him. Blame Shep for having such a strong physique that it took so much for Shizaku to crack his head. And Shizaku, after smashing Shep's head, began to absorb the thoughts in Shep's body. 880,023, that's right, Shizaku, your next practice is to try your best to improve your energy. Fisher instructed Shizaku after testing Shizaku's energy value for a, Ajbs. Well, 
I know Shizuku nodded in response, sad, what are you going to do next, just sitting here all the time? Michi sat on the rock, with his hands resting on the ground behind his back, and asked lazily, she really has nothing to do now, so she can only stay here, why don't you go and watch the battles in the other two battlefields? Fisher thought for a moment after hearing this, and then suggested, watching powerful battles is also a good way for players to improve their strength and learn some fighting skills and experience, alright. Then I'll go to Menchai and the others. Michi was slightly taken aback when she heard the words, stood up and said, she didn't think of this before, because she was habitually following Fisher, the boss, so she didn't want to go and watch fight this. After the words were closed, Michi jumped up and rushed towards Menchai and others. Then, Master Fisher, I'll go too, I'll go too. Pak Noten and Shizaku said one after another, and also followed. Brother, I'll go to Grandpa and Dad. Kilia also stood up and said to Fisher, well... Go ahead, Fisher nodded, Gun and Kaluto also expressed that they would go with Kilua, and the three rushed in the opposite direction to Machi and others, aren't you guys going? A battle of this level is rare, and you will gain a lot if you go and watch it. Seeing Molao and the others who did not take any action, Fisher asked doubtfully, I won't go, it's more important to see here, Mola said, pointing in the direction of the ant nest. Yes, although the contract was signed, it's just that we can't enter the ant nest but the captains and soldiers in the ant nest can all come out. Nobu also explained, Hey, you geese are really dedicated. Hearing this, Fisher applauded, If it were me, or their strength, I would definitely go and observe this kind of opportunity instead of staying here. However, the next moment, what Mol Awu said made Fisher feel as if he had been slapped in the face. No way, we have been entrusted by the international high level to handle the affairs here, so we need to give priority to the task. Of course, if you can watch for us and let us spare time to visit the old man. I will be very grateful, Mola said with a smirk on his face. Nobu on the side was also smiling, and pushed his glasses, which reflected light. Fisher, go away, hurry up. Fisher waved his hand angrily, and started to chase people away. I just praised the two of them from their dedication to their work, but the next moment they thought about leaving their posts to fish. Okay, I'll leave this to you, Fisher. Hearing this, Mola stood up with a playful smile and said, after speaking, he jumped up, thinking about jumping down. Thank you, Nobu also thanked and then followed Mo Lau's pace. Thank you, Your Excellency Fisher. After thanking Nakalu respectfully, he also jumped out. Xu Juo, a taciturn guy, expressed his thanks with his eyes, and then followed suit. What about you, why don't you go? Fisher looked at the last Pam who was motionless and had no intention of following, and asked strangely. I don't want to go, I want to stay by Fisher's side. When Fisher asked, Pam suddenly became a little nervous, rubbing his hands, lowering his head and saying shyly, his cheeks were blushing. Well, this guy really has his eye on me. Seeing Pan like this, Fisher curled his lips. The hardest thing to bear is the grace of a beauty. Fisher didn't want to disappoint the beauty, but Pam's personality was a bit paranoid, although he was better than Shep. He was still a problem. Fisher, can I join the Zoldik family and join you under your command? Just when Fisher was thinking about the situation of Pang, Pang asked, Huh? You want to join me? Fisher was slightly taken aback. He hadn't thought of that. Well, I asked Sister Machi before. Sister Machi said that if you want to stay by Fisher's side, you must join Fisher's direct subordinate steward force, so I. Hearing Pam's undisguised expression of love, the corners of Fisher's A's twitched slightly. This is a problem. Do you want to make this guy a kinsman? But this guy's personality is a bit paranoid, much more troublesome than Gun's guy. Gun's guy is an occasional seizure type, but this guy is a normal seizure type enhancer. I don't know if there will be any trouble after joining. Fisher didn't answer directly, but got into a tangle. However, at this moment, Fisher noticed that a message appeared in the chat channel, which belonged to Dad Silver. Fisher couldn't help watching, and then, the corners of Fisher's eyes twitched. Dad, this is Chapter 175 Attacking Pam. This Ant King hasn't been born yet, so he was reserved by two people one after another. Looking at Silver's message, Fisher said with a wry smile, Dad Silver's information is really beyond Fisher's expectations, because Dad Silver actually said that he was going to fight the Ant King who was about to be born. How to fight this? Although Dad Silver's strength has become much stronger, but he has not yet reached the strength to fight alone with the Ant King's personal guards. It takes two people to work together to deal with Menthuthuipi. In this case, fight with the Ant King? Isn't that looking for abuse? Dad is not such a reckless person, so there is only one reason. Dad has evolved again from the Battle of Menthuthuipi, and his strength has become stronger again. That's why I made this kind of request. Although he was surprised by Dad Silver's sudden request, Fisher didn't think Dad was messing around, because Dad Silver was never a willful person, and there must be a reason for doing this yes and Fisher guessed the reason. It seems that the evolution obtained from Menthuthuipi is beyond imagination to make an old woman like Dad make such a request. Taking a deep breath, Fisher murmured, Fisher, is it okay? At this moment, Pam on the side spoke again. Um, will you become my family member? This, okay. Hearing Pang's questioning, 
Fisher was still a little tangled, but suddenly thought of Pang's ability, and directly agreed. Pamson, like Pak Noten, has a strong role in intelligence. Great. Upon getting the answer he wanted, Pam suddenly collapsed in excitement, and quickly hugged Fisher's neck with his whole body. However, the next moment, Pam became shy, and quickly returned to his original position, saying shyly, Sorry, I was too excited just now. It's okay no problem. Next, let me describe the grace to you first. This is a necessary ceremony to become my family member. Then I will go to my father's side. Do you want to come with me? Fisher waved his hand casually, indicating that it's okay, and then asked one sound. Fisher's father? Pam was taken aback when he heard the words. In Hue I was not heard at all. There was only one sentence in his mind, and another word popped up. Father-in-law. See parents? As soon as this idea came out, a puff of white smoke popped out of Pang Mu's forehead, and he became dizzy. Um, what's the matter with you? Fisher didn't know what kind of crap Pang's inner drama was at this time, so he was a little scared by Pang's sudden change. No, nothing, Fisher. Please give me a picture of Grace, and then we will go to see your father-in-law. Ah no, meet your father, Fisher. After being so regretted by Fisher, Pam quickly came back to his senses, and said shyly, but when he got excited, he slipped the tongue, hastily changed his mind. However, Pam slipped his tongue, but Fisher will not miss it. After hearing Pam's words just now, the corners of his eyes twitched slightly. Enhancer's concept of love is also too strong. Although I know you like me, but now I call Daddy Silver father-in-law. I don't even have a horoscope yet. Should I do this? However, speechless, Fisher still gave Pam a favor. Seeing the shy Pam showing his back, Fisher quickly drew. In less than two minutes, Enhue's portrayal was completed. The familiar system prompt sounded. Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting a new faction member and getting a check-in reward once. May I ask the host if you want to sign in? Ding. Congratulations to the host for getting the ability feedback from Pam Siberia, a member of the faction, and the host for getting everyone and the skull crystal ball. Sure enough. Menchai is still at the bottom of the crane. Dot. Okay, put on your clothes, Fisher said lightly, and then immersed himself in the system. System, sign in. Ding. Sign in successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the power of the sea, Pam Siberia Special Edition. The power of the sea? What is this again? Hearing the system's prompt, and because the reward this time has no explanation, Fisher who doesn't know what this ability is can't help but frown. However, frowning is frowning. Fisher still gave Pam this ability. What a powerful force. I feel that I can control the entire sea and all kinds of creatures in the sea. After obtaining the power of the sea, Pam said excitedly after feeling Jufan. Hey, control the sea and control the creatures in the sea? The sea is such a powerful force in a broad sense. Zero. Well, as long as I continue to develop, then as long as it is the sea, I can control it, and sea creatures, I can control it. However, I need to continuously improve my sea power. Pam nodded repeatedly and explained. Well, Good calendar. Now I'm going to teleport to dad. Put your hand on my shoulder and I'll take you there. Fisher nodded, gave some words of encouragement, and then went to find dad. R. Yes, Fisher. Hearing that, Bam's eyes lit up immediately, and then he came behind Fisher, wrapping his hands around Fisher's neck. Um, I just ask you to put your hand on my shoulder. What are you doing? Fisher was speechless. Ah, uh, can't you? Pang asked timidly. Forget it, it's okay. Hearing these timid words, Fisher's mouth twitched, and without saying anything, he directly activated the magic flash and teleported to where his father's Zidane was. Oh oh. Since Dad Silver is free to send himself a message, there should be no battle, so Fisher is not afraid of getting punched when teleporting there. Are you taking in another direct butler? Fisher heard Dad Silver's words just after the transmission came. Um, yes, this is Pam Siberia, and he will be one of my direct housekeepers from now on. Fisher was stunned for a moment, and introduced to his father Silver. Hello, father-in-law. Arno. Ah, Hello, Master Silver. Seeing Silver, Pam quickly let go of Fisher's neck, stood beside Fisher, and greeted the table politely. However, this guy doesn't know if it was on purpose or on purpose. Silver. Dot. Indeed, Fisher, you have also reached this age. Let's spread the branches and leaves of the Zoldyk family as soon as possible. Hearing Pam's words, Silver looked between Fisher and Pam, and then said earnestly, Dad, how old am I? Dad Silver's words made Fisher's A's twitch and he roared loudly, Damn, how old am I? It's just me. Also, I didn't expect dad, you are a serious guy, and a guy with thick eyebrows and big eyes can actually make jokes. As for Pam, after hearing Silver's words, his cheeks involuntarily flushed twice. Yes, my lord. Don't make any more trouble. Yes, Shell. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.